Uh oh. I can't even start cursing already. See, Mike, where's my applause button at? I'm starting to curse. I ain't touched Never stopped him before. Time. Shoot. What are you good for, man? <laughs> and we are back for another episode of the Shattered Illusions podcast. Will I take him to the grave? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have some beef to pick with all these ladies down here. Pause. Not me. Wait, why is that a pause? Yeah, why is that? Why is that a pause, Simon? Lex, is that a pause? Actually, I got beef with you too, so I guess it is pause. Yes. Okay. But before we get started, as always, like the video first of all, sub to the channel, follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and Rumble. And before I get with these insubordinate and churlish ladies, I gotta check on my family. See, Marty. How you hold on? Where's the bomb at? Here it is. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I'm loving it. I like it. See, Mark, how you feeling? What's up, bro? man? Hey, I'm here. I'm blessed. We're here for another weekend, so I'm excited. I can't complain. Um, Alex or Muffin Mix, whatever I call you, how are you feeling? I'm good. How are you? Okay. Muffin Mix? Muffin. What does Muffin Mix mean? It's, it's an inside joke. Oh, okay. and, <laughs> hey, nobody knows y'all, so please. I, <laughs> Don't disrespect me. I'm trying to be in a, a good mood, but I'm mad at y'all today, so... I thought oh, you said you wasn't mad. Exactly. What happened? I'm mad now. He about to get your ass. So no, he about to get your ass. ass. So. Yeah. Give me a to be coming for you first. So who is y'all and why are what we you do. upset? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, I thought no. I was being nice. Here, 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 I'll Mark, tell you. What's gonna be nice? Yeah, here. This this is the time when see Mike wants to record me. Gotcha. Oh, he about to complain. Oh my God. Y'all late. This you is better. this is the beef that I have with you guys. Why are you acting like that you have any other job or any other thing to do besides Shatter Illusions podcast? It's hot outside. It is hot. It's outside. sweltering. All the y'all out, all the y'all degrees. last week. <laughs> I ain't got no nigga and a nigga ain't got me. <laughs> all the y'all last week were late, tardy, no shows. Last week, including you, C Mark. Oh, well, not me. No, 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 not me though. You I told you I was. I told that. you ahead of time. Let me tell you what happened. Look, look, what, what happened was. was hold on, one mic. Let me tell you what happened. I'm listening. Go ahead. I told you was first. You disrespected me. What happened? I told you you were first. So let me tell you what happened. Yeah, we listening. What happened? You should do the thunder. So when I talked to Rob on Friday night, I said, Rob, are we doing the podcast Saturday at seven? Rob said, I don't know. Oh, ooh, indecisive. Indecisiveness. No, that's not cap. That is not cap. You said I don't know, so I waited all morning. Didn't hear nothing from this ninja. So I text this ninja at. I'll pull it up. Pause. Yeah. Ooh, rece- ooh! receipt. Receipt. Hold on. I'll pull it up. Pause. Pull it up. 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 1252. Ooh, he got the time. Ooh, he got the time. Ooh, PM. 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 Let me know if you're recording this evening and if you're watching the fight. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't doing it. No. So it's 1252. I heard nothing from Rob till 421. Ooh. So I got I got my day started. It's traffic outside. I'm a, I'm in Virginia. So he hit me at 421. I had just got out there for real. Mm-hmm. He said, yeah, I'm going to still do seven. So by the time you hit me at 430, I already made plans for the day. So mm-hmm. that was mm-hmm. good. But you did say, I don't know, on, on Friday. Because I'm, I'm here. Ladies, other than that. ladies. Mm-hmm. When do we, what time does the podcast start on every Saturday? Go ahead and tell me. Seven. Thank you, Shanita. And we're going to get. <laughs> you said, I don't know, bro. We're, we're going to get to her in a second here. Because. And, never mind. I don't know if we're going to put you in the crew yet. How do you feel oh, about wow. joining? What? We got to put what? you through a tough a tough recruitment <laughs> process first. I'm going to get to you. Okay, so first of all, before we get started with the show, I'm sorry, I, I want... <laughs> I <just laughs> no, listen, we're going to no. do this one at a time. Ladies, go through and introduce yourself because we have new listeners all the time. And then, as opposed to your body count, tell me why you weren't here last week. Okay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I told we niggas know. in advance I was going to come. And we're going to start right here. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, I'm going to give her half a point. Half. Because she at least called me. So go go ahead. You should have called her. 
Uh, well, let me first start off and say that I was actually en route. Too many buttons on to me. to you. Stop the cap. You should have called her. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me let me ba- let me backtrack because oh. I had I was on the, on on route to yeah. uh to, to here and I had called up Naja and Naja had sat up there and said, "Oh, you might want to sit up there and call him because right. I don't think he's having." I'm like, "Well, you know, I didn't see anything in the group chat to let me know that we wasn't having it. So if I don't see that, I'm gonna think we're still having it." So I'm on my way there, and I'm like, well, you know what? Let me go ahead and give him a call. I give this man a call. You know what? Yeah, we we not having it. And I see Marty ain't there. You know, Naja and everybody was, they were supposed to come. You know, everybody had other arrangements, and they wasn't coming. And so I was actually on my way to here. And he should have told you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so nobody told me anything. As far as I knew, we were still having it, and I was on my way here. So I was planning to be here, and I was on my route to here. Yeah. I'm not going to get in her ass too much. So that that's partly true. I'm the only one that has a full truth here. But that was full. Oh, that was a fully. That was the fully. That's truth. what happened. That was happened. Anyway, oh. get back in the kitchen. <laughs> next, <laughs> first, next, next lady. Go ahead, uh, Miss Nana. I'm Nana, and I was very responsible, and I let people know in advance that I was not going to make it on Saturday because I was going to be at a boat party, and it was for somebody's birthday. Uh, was it worth it? It was. <laughs> oh, brother, oh, this God. guy stinks. Now, sound like a hater. This is who I have the most beef with right now. <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> Destiny all of a sudden has dignity for some reason. Ooh. <laughs> and we don't like that. You know, we like the low self esteem women down here. Yo. No dignity. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm none sorry. of that. <laughs> the way all oh, of what? their faces turn is crazy. <laughs> so, so, Destiny. Where's First that? of all, let's start here, Negro. Let me tell you something right now. <laughs> First now, off, who? I had a whole conversation with you a week prior. And was it not you upstairs that said, Dustin, you have an unexcused absence? And I told Jotel that I had a, a previous engagement. So either you forgot. And sorry, what? I know you're in your old age, but maybe you forgot. Yo, don't call him old though. <laughs> <laughs> maybe so you forgot. On. You want to enlighten the audience on what your previous engagement was? You want to tell us? I had some some things going on. There you go. She had a nigga she messing with all of a sudden. I tell you, women get niggas and all of a sudden they go ghost on you. That you is not no true. More. I communicated. You don't know no more. That is not true. Okay. Are you went on a date? Yes, you went on a date. I didn't oh, say that. I didn't, didn't say that. that. Hey, Ella, yo. I didn't hold say on. that. Oh, on a date? I didn't. Who you on a date with? Who was on a date with? Who is this man? What's his name? How old is he? Listen. What's his 401k? Big back. What is he? Yo. Hold on, I got, I, got, I got that one too. Sure. Big back activity. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> All right, so now, okay, so it went from who I had the least beef with to the most. So least, least, <laughs> most, most, most. But I didn't do anything. Aaliyah, hold on, I got a button for that too. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to the show. See, I'm getting, I'm getting good at this. You are getting good at it. <laughs> so, um, Aaliyah, the last time that you were here, we had a pretty like. One of our most viewed videos, I think, you got a little bit triggered, and we haven't seen your ass since. Where the hell have you been? <laughs> First of all, I didn't know. I wasn't invited to last week or the previous ones. Um, you done saw my story. A thousand about- times. Ooh. Girl, mm-hmm. does that mean I actually look at it? Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh okay. Ooh. You just swiping through my story? I'm swiping through everybody's story. Okay. That's disrespectful. I do, right. that, I do that sometimes, so I don't, I don't blame her. I'm Y'all sure. still see it. No, no, no basically your stories are irrelevant, is what they're saying. Up. No, 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 I watch. They ain't that irrelevant. They be reacting. Oh, oh, okay, so Aaliyah, the, the question is now, her. like, oh, I put, I put out y'all see, Marty, right now. How, how you feeling about her? You got any see, see, any vibes up. about her? Destiny or not? No, no, this one right here. Wait, what? Oh, you want me to be honest? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh my. I don't think she's ready for this show, man. I, I Y'all was on the show so together, I think. Has she been on the show before? Yes, yes, but you weren't here. Well, I can't tell. Okay. She doesn't seem ready. So, before we close and shut down the show, we're going to do a Shatter Illusions vote, okay? And see if she's worthy to be with these people, with the winning team, okay? So, you ladies. already saying no. So. <laughs> <laughs> ladies, your opinion counts for once in your life. Okay. Oh, the disrespect wow. tonight. I might not show next. I'm week. upset now. Do you hate your mother? Uh, she was a black woman, and black women are queens. 
So oh, that's now listen, all I'm gonna say, ladies, I'm I'm, I'm messing with y'all, but I, I really appreciate y'all. And um crazy. also, like I told Destiny before the show, I now need your uh leave request in writing Wednesday before each week that you're about to take off. I'm screaming. and I will either approve or deny it. That's a full time job that you get paid for. Exactly. <laughs> I, don't I don't get paid for this. Where's my pay? I would love it though. Where's the my pay? Where's the 401? I will also take the right. payment as well. But okay. Y'all gonna have y'all have equity in a stock that has not risen yet. So that's that's your payment. So anyway, my ladies. Lights gotta stay on. Like, my my lights. I need I need equity today. <laughs> Let's listen. Delayed that's gratification wonderful. is the name of the game, right? I don't stay with men who give me delayed gratification. Uh oh. Ooh. Here we go. Uh -oh. You oh. done you done started some shit. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> oh God. brother. I should it's, buy my cheerleader pop it's, it's about to get ugly. Oh <laughs> brother. <laughs> Can we start on a good? Can we start on a good note before we go down next? I got, oh, I got a lot. To she do. doesn't deal with men who don't bring anything to the table, Rob. I'm, 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 a, a, uh, TK. I'm in a bad mood. Okay, in case y'all can't tell. I couldn't tell, huh? Uh -oh. Anyway, ladies, so we're gonna talk about some real things tonight. Before I destroy your, um, you know, your way of thinking, can we talk about something real? So we're gonna talk about the first half of the show. We're gonna talk about some beauty standards here, okay? Mm. And for the audience, some behind the scenes, in case y'all didn't know, this was last week's show. But, but nobody showed up. We told you in advance. You gave me an excuse ab absence. You must have lied then. I did. Yeah. He's a liar. <laughs> Men are liars. <laughs> all of them? I know these are, but all of them. Listen, Not you, Chris. Not you, Chris. Listen, Not you, Chris. Listen, I like you, Chris. Not you. Listen, Not you. Listen. You're a wonderful man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean you. You're a wonderful man. You see, I'm trying to start Ooh. this show in a, a, a nice, first, peaceful fashion. I'm gonna have to side with him real quick because he's an innocent bystander. You no, said, that's what I'm saying. You no, said no, no, no. these no, are. I went like this. I misspoke. Destiny, sorry. I'm sorry. Whew. Oh, we talking to ourselves. Yeah, now. we are. Destiny, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me get a wrangle on this. this today, Let's go ahead. I'm sorry. We're going to go back to our standard show, one mic at a time, ladies, and everybody will get a chance to talk. I promise. Okay. So, with the first question, we're going to go one by one. Got it? Okay. <clears throat> so, for the first question on beauty standards, do I have a drum roll on here, Seymour? No drum roll. There we go. I had yeah. a boxing barrel, but I don't know if you put it on there. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. There we go. There it is. Okay, come on. Do this shit, my guy. Okay. All right, so first round, ladies. Can you guys highlight some of the key differences in beauty standards from the 90s uh, versus now? Which way are we going? Who do I want to start with? I'll, I'm going to start with Shanita first. I'm going to give Ali a chance to kind of get a life before she starts Dang, spewing something. I'm over here trying to think of something. Yeah, me too. I'll start. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, sorry. go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> Back in the day, women were praised for being more natural. They wore less makeup mm -hmm. and their bodies were real. Nowadays, more women are beating their face every single day for absolutely no reason, don't no judgment, just no judgment. <laughs> but don't you look over here? Want... <laughs> I like that. I this was no reason you on camera. I said for no reason. They, they, be, they, they go to the grocery store. They got ant bodies, and they their titties don't move. Wait, but what's, what's the ant body? What's that? It's when they get their BBL and it's too big and. The yeah. legs don't match. Their legs don't oh, match. They be skinny like a bug's legs. life. Oh, yeah, you seen life. Doc from a bug's life? That yeah, they got oh, that big God. ass. Like the movie Ants. Yeah. Oh yeah. All uh, right, yeah. go, go go ahead, go ahead, no, no, go ahead. But that's because a lot of the beauty standards changed because of social media. And we're going to kind of go into that. And I agree with everything that you said. I mean, it's just something about looking back in the '90s, seeing people like um, uh, Neil Long, Holly Berry. Um, who was some Aaliyah. Kelly, Kelly Rowland, Aaliyah. Mm. Yeah. Just seeing that kind of natural body. And I mean, see, Marty and I talk about this all the time. And on his podcast, check that out. Uh, Let's Bunch of Smoke Conscious podcast as well. Uh, but we always talk about the BBL culture. And women always say that men created it. And <sighs> men say that women created it. Who do you think really created BBL culture? No, not in your opinion. You Does it have between men and women? Men I just think women. it's society. You gotta pick. That's a hard question. I mean, that's too. I feel like that's hard. I feel like, I feel like it depends. It's like the chicken and the egg question. Like yeah. men, men grew to like 
what they saw on social media through filters and like people that were getting their bodies on it when there were less people doing it. So once women saw what men were gravitating towards, that's when more and more people were doing that. So, mm-hmm. but you could also say women did this and that's when men's preferences changed. So can I be honest? And see, Marty says this all the time. Like I've never seen a man say, Oh, I want my girl to get a BBL. Facts. It's always the girls that go ahead and do it to compete with other women Facts. or to compete with these unrealistic beauty standards. And I honestly, I think that most men, especially now, they would prefer somebody that's a little bit more natural. And, you know, a dude will hit a BBL, but I don't think that's most dudes' preference, if that makes sense. But I think that's who they cheat with. So it's like, then you feel like you're obligated to do mm-hmm. it. To, so, I don't know. It's just a toxic culture. Yeah, fair mm-hmm. enough. Fair enough. But cheat? Never mind. It ain't my turn. Now, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. I'm about to say, but that who they cheat with don't mean I want my wife to have that. That's true, but like a lot of I'm men I'm discarding don't... that. Yeah, but a lot of men don't even just cheat anymore. They mm-hmm. have like cyclic side poles that just be there. They have like relationships mm-hmm. with side chicks now. They don't just pass them along anymore. They keep a rotation. That's a whole different show. Yeah, that's a whole nother show. That's a whole different different show. I'm just saying in that rotation, a lot of times do be people with BBLs. But I, I'll touch on this point before we move on. But it's not necessarily the BBL. It's just that men instinctively crave variety a lot of the time. And I even struggle with this myself because I will see a chick who I will like want to wife, you know, comes from the good family, uh, quality parents, just kind of like a good kind of that, that next girl, next, girl. next door kind of next door. Girl next door. Girl next yeah, door. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And I see that and I want that. But then, you know, you just get horny one night. You see a drink with some nipple rings and a fat ass. You're like, damn, I want that now. And it's like, it's messed up and it's not right. But that's just how men function. It's like, you don't want just one type of girl. You want all of them. And going into the wifing kind of thing, like C. Marty was saying, I might hit that girl and create that variety, but I would never take her home to my parents or take her serious. Most men. Not all, not all, not all, but most. But, uh. Are you done, Nana? Anybody else? Who's next? And the question is, again, in case you want to um, kind of revisit it, can you highlight some of the key differences in beauty standards from the 90s and, until now? Destiny, Aaliyah, she needed somebody to go. Uh, <laughs> I think back then, I think people <clears throat> kind of left stuff a little bit more to the imagination nowadays, meaning like not so like everything hanging out for everybody to see. Nowadays, everything's a little bit more provocative with clothing, I think so. Mm-hmm. Like it's yeah. not as, you know, showing everything. And then like Naja said, everybody was a little bit more natural. It wasn't as intense beat face or whatever. And people are now like, you know, uh, embracing the whole wearing your hair in the fro a lot more now like then back then because everybody had the perm fried badly to the side type situation so people are a little bit more can i be honest it. with that too i didn't like for a very long time and people want to say this is your your eurocentric features showing or whatever you're, you're oh, hating brother. you're hating mm-hmm. your, you're hating your uh your self-hating nah, black man but for a very long time i didn't appreciate the beauty of a girl that had like natural hair like the like mm-hmm. the big hair the kind of afro kind of thing yeah and like i honestly love that now and I think probably because it's just you see so much of the weave and wigs and stuff. And there's a time and place for that. Don't get me wrong. But like, I, I like. Who said that? Say what? I didn't say anything. <laughs> Who made that noise? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? What, what I missed? Like, she's like, she's Don't worry about it, bro. My bad. Okay, that, no. that was unnecessary. What? I just, I'm just listening. You snitching on yourself. Stop yeah. Talking. I'm just, okay. I'm, I'm going to get Olive on you in a minute. Is. No, leave me alone. <laughs> Don't bring him out, please. Where uh, he at? He, he upstairs handling some business. Uh, but Aaliyah, go ahead. This is your first time, so no pressure. Um. That's <laughs> 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 oh funny. Aggressive. First time back. Um, I have to agree with Nana on this one. Mm. Back in the '90s, it was more the natural beauty was embraced. And don't get me wrong, obviously, pot kettle, a beat face, there's nothing wrong with it these days. But it's too, I would say, I say this all the time, it's to a limit. Like, you have some women out here that will beat their face and do not look like how they actually look. Like, I'll be honest, if I take this off, I still look like the same person. Granted, mm-hmm. like, my eyebrows aren't filled out as much or Talk anything. Talking shit. Same with Destiny. Like, mm-hmm. if we take our makeup off, we look the exact same. But yeah, there's some women out yeah. here who do it too much, and it's like, who the hell is that? <laughs> I'd be like, where'd I know from? <laughs> right, like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. So, somebody tripping. I think, uh, Alex, you probably have some good insights on this, too. Do you kind of want to um, say some key differences in beauty standards from the 90s until now? 
No, I just, I really agree with what they're saying. A lot of stuff previously in the 90s is natural. Um, I don't want to say it's, it was it was more covered up. Natural mm-hmm. covered up. You, It was how you were. Now I feel like not only do women pick themselves apart, but now men pick themselves apart. And with social media, they have this vision of what a perfect woman is and what they think it is. Well, it's really just, it should be natural. But yeah, it's basically natural versus surgery, in my opinion. Um, yeah. Lip fillers. Oh, yeah, that every, Botox. Oh, yeah. The, whole, yeah. the whole nine yeah. yards. Control. Go ahead, Shanita. Oh, not only is that, again, I agree with <clears throat> with every what with what everyone has um, already stated. The only thing I did want to add was in regards to women wearing, like, um, what is it, lace fronts? Mm. I know at one point in time, at least from what, again, I could be completely 100% wrong, but from what I recall, a lot of that stuff was meant for like you know celebrities or people that were like you know perf- you know entertainers or like you know like out on Broadway and things like that. <clears throat> that they weren't meant to be kind of worn how they're being utilized like now <laughs> yeah, on like an everyday, day, everyday. basis. <laughs> they was not necessarily meant, and I think again with people keeping things like that where people just just again little things like that. I feel so some things look good in movies or may look good on a show, but it's not necessarily meant for you know the day to day. Mm-hmm. average everyday per, uh, person is not meant for that yeah um yeah. and whatnot or whatever so i think some people are taking these things again like to what alec was saying as far as like the lip fillers and the botox and whatnot even and now like a lot of things maybe was getting done maybe back in the 90s but maybe a little bit more natural looking where so now you got people i don't know getting slur- c- c- certificates or whatever and now i'm over yeah, here yeah. plumping your lips up with i don't know fix a flat fix a flat and now you're over here looking crazy as hell and your lips over here drooping and some other wild shit. So, yeah. And also, I want to say standards back then were to kind of be your own person, stand out and be yourself. I feel like the standards currently are everybody look, needs to look the same. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same body, same face, same complexion. People are, ble- you know, everything is just, everybody has to look like one person walking around. It's more so insane. like if you don't look this way, you're not attractive. Yeah. So yeah. it causes yeah. a big That's thing it. of body dysmorphia with men and women where they look at themselves in the mirror and you see, you start nitpicking at every little thing like, oh, um, I don't like my thighs. I don't like my arms. I don't like this. I don't like that. So you start nitpicking at it mm-hmm. and then you become someone that's outside of yourself. And, and, and that's I, probably what your man loves most about you. And I was going to yeah. say, I kind of agree with that. But like, I, I really think that it's really kind of going back to that first question. I really think it's women that put the unnecessary pressure on themselves to be perfect because men, we like, we want a girl attractive. Don't get me wrong. But like, all the little small like minute details y'all focus on men really don't be caring about that no oh, yeah, them big not, backs not, and shit nah. like, big backs look, look. can't be wearing a bonnet in the bed all right man. no no oh uh, everywhere wearing a bonnet in the bed listen i'm not i'm not i'm not so, talking i'm not talking about you being out of shape i'm not talking about you not caring how you look i'm talking about y'all's things when you're like oh well this boobs higher than, than this one. This leg a little bit bigger than the other one. Men don't be looking at a little small I, details. Sure? Wait, 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 wait. I, I want to make a note on that as well. Again, I know the course there's like different, definitely um, not all men are like that or whatever. However, I will make a point to say that again, let's say, for example, I'll use myself for example. I have always been very, very top heavy for like as long as I can remember. And so naturally so, I feel like uh, when I see other women that have like implants and they may have like triple D's, boob just sitting up like that outside of a bra my my breasts do not sit up to be that way so i know like when i wear like bathing suits i was very very self-conscious especially for two pieces but, like, my, kids, so too, but even before i had my children breasts are high. I, have, I, have, I, have, they they I have big yeah, I have, um, i've always had big even before i've had kids they got bigger since i've had them but even before then when i wear like they're not as full i mean they're still full but against the difference clearly i'm like I feel like if you have like a you know fake boob, it's like nice and round and whatnot. It's just perky, 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 and that is sitting up. Not like that when they're real. Like, and then I feel like when you t- oh. go, 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 go ahead. And then um, I say that so I'm using again as far as myself, but then I know I've seen pictures of other women in similar body shape as mine, where men like, okay, your boobs are sag, your boobs look saggy, and again like, they're comparing, like they look good at least in my opinion. Mm-hmm. They look good. They 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 still look nice. But men will be comparing that to other women who have fake boobs that are that big. Mm, like, oh, yeah. your boobs are saggy. This, then the third. Hey, she has freaking G titties. So yes, her boobs yes. might gonna be full of silicone. Jesus. Y'all, y'all, y'all yeah. don't yeah. hear me talk. Go ahead and see Marty. Either agree with me or disagree. And I'll just say before you go, like I've seen girls I've dealt with that were extremely insecure about having the tiger stripes, and I'm just like, I I personally like that. 
There are a lot of men that don't yeah, though. though. They don't yeah, like they don't, and they, 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 they talk like, bad about you for they, they do. Right, they don't like tiger right. stripes. So I even I think I think what we're vocalizing is the men that are vocal about the tiger stripes, the boob sagging, the the gut, you know, the 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 rolls, whatever. The gut's different. Okay, even to add to the ass, I lied to you. Now, how I think we were talking about like now, people like prefer I lied to you guys. Now, I there was someone that I used to do with like a good while back ago that actually made a comment like I'm not I'm not thick or anything like that. That made a comment like. Would you look into like getting a BB, like getting my ass done or whatever? Like your butt's like kind of on the smaller side. So we said that to you. Yeah, said, said that to me. We gotta come back to that. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. See, that's too, a girl. trash. Yeah, that's trash. But no, I was gonna say it's like social media, reality shows, all that. It's made women uh, insecure for sure. And my thing, like with my clients, they always say like they need to get surgery or something. And I'm like, did you? Were you a virgin before you decided to get surgery or you, that you wanted surgery? The answer is no. So I think women just need to focus on the guys who will accept whatever it is. Like what if you don't want to get in shape, which is another topic for another day, which I disagree with. But if you don't want to get in shape, there's going to be a guy who will date you and love that you're not out of shape. If you uh, are insecure about your boobs being saggy when you take your bra off, you got how many kids too? Somebody let it off in there. So focus on the, focus on the men that's going to let it off in there. And you ain't got to worry about that, or focus on the. the <laughs> you didn't have you didn't have no uh, no BBL when you had the kids either. So focus on the dudes that's gonna gonna let off in there. And mm -hmm. I, I just I don't understand that. And then if you look at, I hate to do this comparison, but it's real. Like if you look at all the wives in the world, like that the the, the women that are married, most of them don't have a BBL. Most of them do not have surgery. So somebody was willing to love them and accept them how they are. So mm -hmm. there's no need for that shit. And a lot of these BBL chicks is not getting wiped. They getting hit and discarded. So I, 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 to me, it's irrelevant. Ouch. In my, in my, in my opinion. And I think that men already expect that as you naturally get older, especially if you have my children, women's body is just naturally going to change anyway. Yeah. And for any man to expect his girl to stay as tight as she was prior to having a baby is completely delusional. And that can come back to an aspect of social media, but. Uh, see, Marty, have you ever been turned off when a girl's boobs were saggy or something like that, or has that ever really rubbed you the wrong way? No, nah, not really. And you got, and you already m grown man. You want to know something is going to look different when the clothes come off. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, Facts. That's crazy. <laughs> Get that out of my fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? 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 Yeah. what did she that, do? Get that what shit out. Y'all, y'all, y'all know. Y'all don't know. That, that, What's that, going that on is, that is crazy. Yeah, not. Um, and I was gonna say too, and then you gotta realize, like, women don't think about how dangerous that surgery is. That's the BBL is the most dangerous cosmetic surgery. Women are dying from it. It's not advertised. They don't talk about it, but women are dying from it. So, as a as a man, and people get mad when I say I wouldn't date a girl who had a BBL. And, and as a man, when I a woman who's willing to put her life at risk for a fatter ass. Is it's a it's a little mental illness right there, in my opinion. So that that's a that's a complete turn off to me. And we're going more into you the fitness lane right now, and I'll kind of say this before we move <clears> on. But remember, when you get these BBLs, the people that are getting them, they don't have the established habits to keep and maintain that. So a girl will go in, she won't lose any weight before the surgery. She already have bad eating habits, and then she'll get the surgery and not realizing that hey, I have to live with this the rest of my life. And then, you know, five or 10 years go by, metabolism is slow down again. She stopped, uh, she had some more kids and she's not working out at all. So therefore what looked okay, halfway decent at 25 or 30 is going to mm. look like freaking terrible when she's 45 and 50. And there's like kind of no long-term thinking when it comes to things like that. And, and women got realized like people was, <laughs> was wifing up women and having babies with them in the 50s when women ain't even have ass like that. And, Facts. Get, and more than likely your ass bigger than they ass was in the 50s and the 40s so there's no need for you to go get this humongous ass it's just it don't make sense so just but, my perspective on it and it kind of segues ways into my next question just um name some ways social media has impacted modern beauty standards and i'll go first excuse me but i think that again it's the women looking at other women you know, the woman that has the perfect cheekbones, the perfect lips. Right. And a lot of these people are editing their photos and making people like look bad and feel bad about themselves when none, none of it's true. Part of the reason that I called this platform Shattered Illusion was a big part of social media. 
the majority of things that you see on social media is an illusion. It, it's not real. And you know, you have people like uh, this dude named Goob calling it out. See, Marty's calling it out now. But a lot of these people <clears throat> aren't what you think they are. So their waists aren't that small. And see, Marty and I see in the gym all the time. A chick will look like amazing on Instagram. Right. You see her in person. I mean, she's still cute, but like the skin ain't as clear. Face a little, face a little bit fatter. Body not as like curvy as you originally saw. Fuck out of here. And what guys don't know is that <laughs> women are way more insecure than men are. And I would even argue the prettier the girl, the more insecure she is, from my experience. Okay. Yeah. So um, I think social media is definitely it's it's kind of like a catch twenty two because we all know it's not real, but we still pretend like it is, and it still affects your like well being and things. Real quick, we gotta get on the fellas too because now this starting to, this mindset is starting to creep into the fellas world oh, with, with with men getting uh, ab fake ab surgery <laughs> and bad man Kevo six eight now he got the knee surgery pause like what what are y'all doing fellas so it's just it's not even just the women it's the fellas too that shit is hella weird so and we're gonna do a show on that too and what what else it affects uh, men is and women as well but it's the illusion of options you scroll all day you get in a fight with your wife baby mother husband whatever the case is you get into a fight you get on social media somebody pumping your ego up then all of a sudden you think to yourself do i really need my husband do i really need my wife this person over here trying to talk to me and it starts making you think that like you have options when you really don't and going back to the whole baby thing it's like when you see a girl who's per whose body's perfect all the time constantly in the right lighting um just never looks like she's having a bad day then you look at your chick who you see 24 7 who might have an off day who might have a bad hair day who might be bloated because she's on the period it creates an unrealistic expectation of like what a woman actually is and i remember one time Brittany renner had went viral because she had like posted a photo and like a scarf and she had just woken up and dudes were in the comments was like yeah i mean instagram is crazy she don't look that good i'm like bro i oh, can tell crazy, i can bro. tell you i've never been with a woman <laughs> you know crazy, like if you bro. were a girl long enough a girl ain't gonna be done up 24 7. it's unreal it's unrealistic <laughs> that's the problem it's like no nah, i'm playing <laughs> <laughs> nah but i i just want to say that and now we can go to one of the ladies so um the question is, is again uh, name some ways social media has impacted modern beauty standards. Uh, well, I wanted to kind of piggyback off of what you had just previously said again, as far as, um, you know, especially from a perspective of having like little ones and whatnot. I know there was, uh, I forgot what celebrity it was that one. I think it, it may have been Drea. Then was it Drea that just recently had a baby not that long ago? Yeah. Uh, I want to say, it, She had a baby like she, a month or two ago. Okay. Right? So um, she had posted up a picture and a postpartum picture and she looked again, absolutely like amazing. Uh, my son, he's about to be one now. But even during that time, I, after I had my son, I was constantly still kind of criticizing myself, like wishing my stomach was flatter, like super duper. Again, just, I know it's not realistic, but just again, that comparison of looking at other moms that had kids and their stomachs were like super flat and it was able to snap back and, you know, get back in the groove of, you know, getting their hair done all the time and, you know, wearing like particular outfits. And again, just as someone that has um, kids, it really, at least for myself, it really drains. It is it's physically and mentally. Oh, you about to say something? Yeah, I want to address two points. Okay. Um, when you're saying that it's kind of difficult for women to come back after they've had children and get the flat stomach, I'm going to say yes and no. So, on the yes side, uh, see, Mario and I both know a lot of chicks who are in the gym right now who uh, drop babies off, who have two or three kids, and body is freaking immaculate. Now, I will say that most people aren't willing to do the work it will take to get back to that point in time. But even with that being said, even the ones that have kind of snapped back, they still aren't as good as they were before the baby. And right now, see, my, we know one chick who's actually, well, she's, you know what I'm talking about, walks. Um, she's seven months pregnant. And granted, oh, yeah. she's, she's 25 and everything, but she looks freaking <clears throat> amazing. But again, it's like she had those established those habits established before she was pregnant. So therefore she's able yes. to kind of carry carry the go ahead. Yes. I was about to say snapback just comes from your habits before the before you got pregnant, yep. too. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, you know, a lot of women also, and this is a problem, another problem with social media, kind of going down my lane. A lot of women have false expectations about what their body can do after they have the kid. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Like you see a woman snap back. This 
yeah, she snapped back. She's been working out for seven, eight, nine, ten nice. years. You know what I'm saying? Nice. And you just getting started, so you're not gonna look like her. So oh yeah, but no, and to your point, like I wouldn't expect yeah, yeah. I think again, just that comparison, just being realistic as far mm. as myself. After I had my son and you, you know, scrolling sometimes all day, just like scrolling, scrolling, yeah. scrolling, and you seeing other girls like, oh my gosh, her stomach is so flat, or even just just her image, her herself, like her skin is glowing, and she doesn't have any hyperpigmentation, her you know face don't look necessarily fat but back to your point of again everything that's posted on social media it clearly isn't the real majority of the time people when they do post they're going to post themselves in the most flattering light they're going to put put on like i don't know different maybe filters on they're going to make sure the lighting is how it needs to be whatever so that you're going to look your absolute best i know for myself if i don't look my absolute best i'm going to tag myself i'm not going to keep myself on there so i just know between the filters even like the texture of the skin like if you see certain celebrities their skin looks flawless um, and it was actually an injector that I follow when she was showing like the actual unfiltered photos of these same celebrities that show they actually have texture, they have pores, they have acne, just like every single person. But majority of the time, if you go on their pages, you're not going to see those particular pictures, which I think for the average person who may struggle with acne, hyperpigmentation or any of those things, you may start to feel like. Let me try to buy all these different products. Let me do this. Let me do that. And it's constantly trying to struggle, trying to figure out like, what else can I do? And it just may not be realistic. Like, everyone has texture on their skin. So that was just one of the things that I noticed as far as like on social media. Somebody uh, go ahead and hop in. Are we uh, Destiny? Uh, no, nah, not somebody. I can piggyback off of what you said about women comparing themselves, um, like, you know, mothers comparing themselves to other mothers. Um, while people should be, I, I see a lot of people fall off once they get pregnant. They don't work out as much. They could have previously been working out, but then they just stop and they don't take care of their skin. So that does also lead to a lot of stretch marks and um, excess weight. However, there are a lot of different factors that people don't take into the to, into account because the human body is interesting alone. So like your body changes a lot when you get pregnant. You don't know how what your hormone levels are going to be. You have chemical imbalances or every like childbirth is different and each pregnancy is different. So even with you, I'm sure like the first pregnancy was different than the second. Your mm. belly was carrying a different way. So I've seen people who snap back the first time, they snap back the second time, the third time, they they just have excess skin that's really hard to get rid of or like they have perpetual acne going forward. So there're just so many different genetic factors that go into it as well as age. So it's just figuring out a formula and whatever worked for somebody else may not work for you. And I don't want to make this a pregnancy episode either and everything, but like <laughs> also they, there's a reason they advise women to get pregnant, you know, younger as opposed to waiting until you're 35 and, you know, 40. And it's because your body responds very differently. And when you're 22 or 23, it's easier to bounce back when you've had two or three kids as opposed to when you're 35 and 40. And uh, like SC Marty kind of alluded to, if you don't have those habits already established at a young age, it's even going to be hard for you to come back after that point in time. So um, I think there's a lot to think about on both sides. But uh, Destiny, you want to go ahead and kind of say uh, name some ways social media has impacted modern beauty standards? Honestly, I just think that it's a it just starts up a compare and contrast game with a lot of people. You know what I mean? Especially when you're looking at social media and people are giving that person a lot of admiration and praise and you're not receiving that because you don't look like them. That's where it just puts you in a really different predicament. And that's where it just gives you different pressures to want to go out there and go get that BBL, go get those injections. And like I said, especially if like, you know, you're seeing that the opposite sex is giving that praise to that certain look and you don't look like that. Yeah, it, it definitely plays on your insecurities. So social media has a way of doing that. So, yeah. You got anything that hasn't been said? No, I basically, I agree with all of this. Mm. Um, for men and for women, it's like for, for y'all, there's a certain beauty standard that we have women that we have for men. They have to be a certain height. They have to look a certain way. They have to dress a certain way. They have to, hell, they have to smell a certain way. They have to have a certain job. Mm. And we see these men on social media that have this point, but they're not actually attainable. They're just good to look at. But it's the same on the men's side for women. They look this way and they... <laughs> Attain, obtain these things and they look good to men, but it's not actually really obtainable. Mm -hmm. So I think it's it's a compare and contrast thing. You want what you can't have. Fair. And this is what I'm going to kind of challenge you on a point here. It's like, I feel like that men, we don't really necessarily get as mad at women's beauty standards as women get as mad when it's like y'all's beauty standards put on us. So like, 
women for the most part have a very kind of rigid standard of what they want when it comes to a man you know a certain height certain income a certain weight and dudes who don't fit that we kind of just accept that hey you know what she wants that i can't provide it it is what it is most men but when a guy comes on and destiny we talked about this earlier the pot the balloon guy mm -hmm. but when a guy comes on and says you're not qualified or i don't want a fat chick or i don't want a black chick or whatever the case is i feel like you can't that say that all hell always breaks loose <laughs> but it's the way that you deliver it if you come off like a butthole and you're like oh man you ain't it you don't got enough you know hair or you're not skinny enough it's the way you deliver it but if you go in there ranting and raving on social media about how sis is not qualified because x y and z it's the way you're delivering it why does delivery matter though if because it's the truth it's if it's okay it's a way you go about it don't be rude about it i mean fine now everybody's gonna be a cup of tea but you don't have to be a jackass about it. i don't it, think though. he was a jackass at all he just said he was she wasn't qualified and i mean if that was his standards he can say who's qualified to his standards and who's not that's wonderful but at first when we talked about that video they were censoring themselves at first until he started being a butt so i mean it's it wait is what it is. i didn't watch all this so i just saw the clips did was he really he was really just saying y'all not qualified right no. that's not what happened no, that's but see that's, that's what i'm asking yeah, that's not what happened at all i mean you can you can blame both parties for being wrong but he didn't just come out the gate disrespectful the only thing he's the uh i forgot i forgot what the girl said to him but but she she put him down first before he said you're not qualified and that triggered some of the other girls when he said that and when he got to them that's when they just start out the gate just start the, 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 the very the, first the, one was the, disrespectful. No, no, not it wasn't. the very first one. No, not the very first one. Because literally, all all she said, she said, the reason I popped my balloons because I wasn't attracted to you. And he said, the feelings definitely mutual. You did me a you favor. You did me a favor. And that's messed that's up. Was, you don't have yeah. to say it like that. But just hold on. Like, but see, this is this is the she issue. Said, I'm not attracted to you. No, no, that's fine. Just say okay, that's fine. Move on. You don't have to give all the extra. But I, I, hold I feel on. like Good it's hold, hold on. I gotta ask Destiny this real quick. Tacky why do you think why do you think he said you did you me a favor just take take take, take your take your female lens off for a second and why do you think he said you did me a favor just, just answer the question because he wasn't attracted to her as well that's why he said that he no because like, he didn't want to hurt her feelings no it wasn't even just that because it would have been a waste of time thank you uh, but thank he didn't you. have to say, say that, that. you just saying. say okay yeah, thank yeah, you no you don't even you don't even have to say that if you if you felt like being petty that's your prerogative. And you want to sit here and say, I, the feeling is mutual. Keep it pushing. You ain't got to say all the extra stuff. Yeah. And that was a self soothing. Yeah. It felt but like you, he's you, soothing himself. Hold on. Take the but you did do me a favor. And like, y'all don't understand. It's self explanatory. Y'all don't understand yeah. the shit that men have to go through to even get a date with the woman. So, Aww. and. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did it on purpose. I did it on purpose. <laughs> I, I'm going to just, I'm going to just say this. I was joking. I'm going to just say this. No, you said that on with some meeting. That was crazy. But he didn't have I, to that extra. He I, didn't. She's and a lot of men have been on dates with women. We spent money. We spent time. Okay. We got to get our uh, our car all cleaned up, clean our house. And whatever the case is, you spend all this time, mm -hmm. attention, and money on a woman, and it might not work out. Okay. So he's saying the context of, like, you did me a favor. You did me a favor by not wasting my time and making me play this dating game that we all got to play as men. So what's wrong with him saying you did me a favor and keep it moving? He didn't say you anything just wrong. You just kept, kept it moving. moving. You have to do all that because it reverse put the shoe on the other because foot. Because if she did that to you, how would you how would you feel? If women do it all the time. All the time. What does that mean? But I mean, like, I think it's just it's just a petty. It's a, it's petty, a petty notion. Way. It's a tit for tat. That's what I'm just saying. Like, so do our women not petty when they reject men like that? We're y'all don't both do it. Are petty. Y'all don't do it nicely. Y'all don't reject men nicely. I agree. That's not true. But no, okay. That's a question. Double standards. No, I don't think he was. If he said the feeling is mutual, fine, cool. We both expressed that we're yeah. not interested and in each you other. Me a favor, so but you don't have to add that extra piece because it's that, like, yeah. oh, you would have been a waste of time. That's basically what it's exactly. saying. Exactly. So basically. you have to do all that. And then that poor girl, what, the poor girl, okay. the red dress. Was it, so bad for was her. it a waste of time though? It. Was it a waste of time? But they didn't waste the time, so you didn't have to say that. Because didn't. She, they didn't waste time because she did him a favor. Yeah, you don't have to say that. He didn't have to add that extra punch ended. after saying, right, I'm not attracted you. to you. That's all I'm saying. And I heard the one in the black that he went with didn't even stay with him. So waste time. I didn't uh, watch ho it. Hold on. And again, I did my research on this. And see, Molly and I will probably do another episode on this. But what happened was, and I talked to her on Instagram too. Really nice lady, by the way. Um, Yo. <laughs> shout out shout out esther but 
Yeah. What I was saying is she said that what happened is she gave her Instagram to another guy that was there. Mm -hmm. And the guy said, you know what? I don't fuck with a girl I'm potentially interested in giving her Instagram out. Now, would I have gotten mad over that? No. But again, this is what I'm saying. It's his standards. Why wouldn't a man have a standard? All of a sudden, he becomes a villain. But if he was a simp getting ran over, there wouldn't be anybody talking about this. No, you're entitled to your standards. But again, the delivery, it sounds like he's being a jerk in that situation. That's he all. was being petty, but it's fine. That's what I'm saying. But like, you're you entitled to have your standards. Do your thing. He didn't have to say, okay, thank you. You don't have to say, oh, Make oh, sure I don't find standards. you attractive. Okay, thank you. The fuck you thanking them for? No, I don't find you attractive either. Keep it pushing. But never mind. Okay. Cool. All right. I agree to disagree. I, I, That's yeah, fine. That, I partially agreed with you. Horseshit. Just, just. I just said it was shit. okay that he said Men he shouldn't wasn't. have standards at all, and it, it really. Boils I never down said, to that. That. No one said that. Y'all definitely a, a should. Y'all should has, have standards. A real man has no standards. No, y'all. I, no, y'all should have standards. standards. You should have standards. Should Everybody should. Y'all should have standards. And I want to make this crystal clear: the way that he responded. I would not have responded, nor do I advise any other man to respond. <laughs> I agree with you guys. It probably is better just kind of just keep it pushing and bow out gracefully. But however, all men are not the same. His feelings were hurt. Yes, yeah. they were feeling so soothing. And if that man has a standard, he wants to act that way. I think he was very respectful and he was very direct. But the problem is, and I see it with girls that I talk to and I approach too, you guys are not used to direct men. You're used to men who cow town and kind of walk on eggshell around your feelings oh, no, not, like and, not tell, and not tell you what it is and what it ain't. I like direct. And if, like okay, direct. so yeah, listen, direct. listen, yeah. if all, but I'm going to tell you why you're, you're wrong, because if all men were as direct as he was, it would never went viral in the first place. It was the fact that a man that had accomplished something, had a good business going for himself. He said what he said. He meant what he said. And he stood on that shit. It's like, this is different. Remember, anything that's, that's the same does not go viral. It's the fact that it's so different and so out of the ordinary. So if that was a standard for everyday men, we wouldn't be talking about it right now. No, it's not the standard. I'm saying I appreciate when people are direct because I, I appreciate transparency. But people are hypersensitive. So you do have to kind of be passive aggressive. or You do kind of have to filter yourself, unfortunately, because people are going to be emotional if you're too direct. But I mean, women are going to be emotional if you're too direct. No, no sometimes men, men are too. Yeah, men too. Okay. I feel like humans in general, like, are passive. A lot of, I feel like the majority of people are passive aggressive. I agree with that. And I think they do that because whoever they're dealing with, they think they're going to get a bad reaction. They probably would. So they do tiptoe around stuff. That's just a human thing, I feel like. All right. Uh, Alex. Can you name some ways social media has impacted uh, modern beauty standards? Um, I feel like with social media, it makes you feel like you're just not enough or attractive enough because people only post their quote unquote flawless pictures, edited pictures, whatever. Um, the I don't think people actually realize that these beauty standards are just unrealistic and they're not ideal. So they just try to become that person. Um, and then I also think when it comes to maybe the dating world as well, as well, you see men running around with the same women. They all look the same, typically the same race, eyes, body type, BBL, no BBL, whatever the case may be. They're typically that same person. And they see all these men attracted to that one person. So they want to look like that one person too. So I think that plays a part, especially when it comes to younger women um when they actually haven't even developed into their full body yet and it, they got a couple more years on them they, that's when they start to change as well uh, that that was heavy now, i don't want to go down that road because i feel like it's going to be a whole nother hour conversation and we have a lot of stuff to kind of get to right now did you disagree i, I or? some and some i did but the majority i didn't and i kind of want to hit the points where i didn't agree on uh, but Seymour, you have anything you want to add to this topic before I kind of uh, shift gears to the next question? Are we pretty much headed. We could keep it going, bro. Okay, okay. So uh, last, before we get to uh, smoke and mirrors for the night, uh, what psychological effects do you think beauty standards have on women, uh, particularly young girls? I think I said it earlier, um, body dysmorphia. They constantly look at themselves in the mirror and just, I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't look like this. I don't mm -hmm. look like that. And it starts off young. So they start dressing a certain way, trying to look a certain way. I have literally walked places thinking 
it was a 28 year old woman it's a 14 year old girl no, that's fine why do you that's look facts. like that why and and i think that all the data is starting to come out now as far as how harmful it is to uh younger women because i think that they're the most like depressed group of people in the country i think it, girls like from age 14 24 something oh, like that's that crazy. i'm quote i'm quoting the numbers wrong but people don't realize like how new the actual phenomenon of social media actually is and i don't think it's going to be until like 20 or 30 years we can look back and say damn this was a really bad idea for people to have so much access unrestricted access to social media especially young girls and i talk about it all the time but like i'm grateful that our generation at least knew a time without your phone in your hand 24 7. yeah you know we had myspace the bebo's early days of facebook when like social media was something that you took a picture of and it stayed on your camera until you got home to your desktop but now it's like it's in your hand 24 7 and i even find myself falling victim to it when you constantly you can't stop scrolling you like next thing you know three or four hours are gone by you like what did i even look at the last three or four hours and then the momentum of your day is just gone you say you know what i already scrolled for four hours might as well just keep doing it <laughs> i'll start again tomorrow until the cycle just kind of repeats over and over again and i know so many people who are teachers right now who say that the kids can't they they hardly can read they can't uh focus on one page of a book because it's not stimulating it's having an ipad in your hand every day they can't write they don't know how to like edit papers like it's right. just it, it's getting really bad for the, the generation below us didn't want to go on a tangent there but a uh, good point Aaliyah. um destiny uh, what psychological effects do you think beauty standards have on women particularly young girls i think it just forces them to grow up faster i mean nowadays you got kids paying 30 40 dollars for drunk elephant to make the skin look better they just want to get older so fast what is that it's like it's moisturizer like skincare it's just skincare it's products, products. Okay. like they're paying for stuff that's for 20 30 40 year old women because they want to look like that because it's a glorified image like they want i mean they're not even developed half the time they're stuffing their bras and I'm, i mean i did that when i was 12 but i mean like, it's been worse. <laughs> what so are you telling yourself i was little i mean what? no but it's getting worse now they're wearing crop like she said like you said it was what a little girl 14 year old child like she's in her 20s mm -hmm. like they're desperate to get older it's it's like it's it's messing with their psyche so they don't want to be a child anymore and that's the sucky part so yeah what you got nana i think it just advances people's or especially young girls chances of getting depression Facts. because mm -hmm. they're very insecure they're comparing themselves to other girls that they're seeing and also they're getting bullied because of how they look yeah like high school is rough for a lot of young girls but and i have to kind of prop it back to the to the girls too and this is why i always say that nobody cares about men it's because remember the girls who are like 14 15 and even as young as 12 or 11 remember these girls right now as they presently are constructed are the new crop of instagram models those are the girls you guys are going to be competing with over the next 10 to 15 years so what happens is the ones that are extremely bad they start putting makeup on earlier start getting hit up by rappers early i think ruby rose came out and she corrected it of course but she said when she was 16 she was in that bad and bougie video she rolled back and said she was 18 but i really believe she probably was 16 that whole time but my point is when you're that beautiful you start getting uh hit up that soon it damages your psyche later on because if you're 16 that bad getting flown out by celebrities uh other ig people influencers and stuff that messes your reality up and seeing who the average guy actually is you think automatically that every guy you know has six figures is balling you know can buy you uh birkin bags and stuff and the thing about life is that it inevitably humbles all of us so i don't care nobody's at the top forever so if you're right. 16 you have this uh glamorous lifestyle from 16 to 24 and you don't pick the right man to settle down with you get 25 to that 30 age range all of a sudden those guys are hitting you up no more because those girls you're gonna compete be compete with now are seven eight nine it's the circle of life so if you don't pick the right man when you're young and hot a lot of chicks are going to be like damn like where the hell did my youth go 
and it's going to cause a lot of psychological damage uh, later in your years. And I think that they made a study that said that uh, by 2045, 2050, over 50% of women are expected to be single. So it creates unrealistic expectations. It makes you feel like that you have more options than you do, which I already said, and it damages people's perception of what reality really actually is. And uh, last point, but they asked these girls on Fresh and Fit, and they're they're hot, you know, they're probably eight or nines, and they're 21, 22. Uh, they said, how many men do you think make over six figures? And the girl said 40%. And I mean, if you look at Instagram, you would think it really is 40%. <laughs> but, you know, the real number is like 10. And that includes gay men, married men, uh, fat men, all that. So it's skewing reality in a very, very, very bad way. And if you look at social media all day, you'll think that this is reality. But like I said, it's an illusion. Uh, Shania, go ahead. Uh, only thing I had wanted to say. <clears throat> to add to that, as far as like what's an illusion, I think as well in terms of like, okay, you was mentioning how it's only like really like 10%, but if you look on Instagram, you would think it's probably higher. And I think as well, like as we all know, well, if you don't know, and you, um, I I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with like Van Cleef necklaces and whatnot, or like Chanel's and all that stuff like yep. that. So you'll see people over there posting their bags, their shoes, and all the high-end designer things when in actuality, I forgot what a celebrity was, but they were saying that a lot of the stuff that they're walking around with is like fake. Facts. So they, you thinking that it's like a van, like a real Van Cleef, or you thinking it's a real Birkin, <laughs> and you think just because they got money, like oh yeah, it's real. And in actual, no, it's not. It's, it's fake. But then you who are struggling instead of there and pay your rent and you're buying on everything are taking your last little bits to go and buy a five thousand dollar bag to post up online. It look like you got it to keep up and then taking pictures in your right angles and have somebody try to fly you out because you looking good. You got certain and you really but, don't have it set up but, like but, that. But see, that proves my point. And even the girls that are like the baddest of the baddest, the top 5% of you, what you would call a hot chick, these are girls that are getting men to pay for their stuff and, you know, buying the Birkin bags and paying for the apartment and things like that. But as I always said, stuff, everything is seasonal. Nobody stays on top forever, as I said before. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen when you not the new it chick no more? And these girls don't understand how to multiply money how to buy cryptocurrencies, how to invest in real estate. And what happens is you, you create this extravagant lifestyle that costs multiple six figures a month to, to like maintain. And you assume because you're making that right now, you're going to make it forever. And then when you get to that point where, let's say you have a $100,000 lifestyle and you make $250,000 every month pretty consistently for three or four years, you think it's never going to stop. But then when that first forty thousand dollar month come in, I'm like okay, this is one off. Then two months later, it's like thirty five. We like okay. I mean, you don't panic yet. There's no savings there. There's no investments there, and that's how people end up broke. Even in, even NBA and NFL stars. Yeah, that's why the majority of them end up broke. It's just they don't put anything away. Um, For sure. Alex, what you got going on? Uh, what psychological effects do you think beauty standards have on women, particularly young girls? I mean, just pretty much the basics, low self-esteem, anxiety, depression, isolation, relationship issues. You become insecure before you even get in a relationship, then that causes more issues. So, I mean, I feel like it's, it's a little bit of everything at that point. Um, it just doesn't help at all. See, Marty, what you got? Um, you train majority women. Do you see any uh, bad psychological effects that uh, beauty standards have on women? Yeah, lack of confidence. Um, I mean, every there, y'all touched on everything, but the the confidence is is a big thing. Like me, just I train mostly women, so just a lot of times they be like, you know, instead of coming in and focusing on the work, I just do I look skinny today. I'm like, yo, we've been working out for one month. Like, it's, it's like, just relax. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's sad. Or they'll send me, uh, I, I want to look like this. It's like, <laughs> yo, you're not looking like her. She surgeryed up. Oh, I got a vacation. <laughs> in four, I, I got a vacation in one month. Can I lose thirty pounds? Look, I'm about to sit in bed, start going to bed hungry. <laughs> going to bed <laughs> hungry. You know, that's what it leads to. Yeah. Lead to yeah. Thoughts and prayers. But you don't even gotta do all that. That's what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna eat an air sandwich. No, exactly. so, look, I know about the trip all year long. I'm just waiting till like two weeks before to sit there and starve myself. Living on the water. Living on the water. Air sandwich is crazy, bro. That's what I'm talking about. 
it's, it's sandwich lemon bread. water. I mean, yeah. you then you feeling it. weak and about to pass out. <laughs> then you got no energy in the weight room. And then as soon as you eat again, you just you're you gonna blow right, right back, back up. Because you didn't eat nothing. Big, big salt <laughs> belly ass. <laughs> salt <laughs> belly is crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. Salt belly. What the? All right, salt. let's uh, mm-hmm. let's transition gears a little bit. Not really, not too much, but like this is gonna be something a little bit different right now. It's kind of on topic of uh, the social media aspect. Um, Alex, go ahead and bring up smoke and mirrors. And ladies, for y'all don't know, Aaliyah more specifically. Smoke and mirrors when we just kind of see a study, a video, a post, something that we kind of just react to and just kind of give our honest thoughts about it. And this one kind of caught my eye a little bit earlier. I was scrolling, not, uh, not, not that one. Uh, is that, yep, is that it? Okay. You know, I can't see. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, so. Ladies, this uh, girl's kind of going viral. I can't read it. Uh, I'm going to read it. Don't worry. Okay. You can see it. Says, it. Uh, <laughs> you can see it? Can you see yeah, it? I, I can see I, it. Some I, 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 I can see it. it you sure? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, um, this this comes from my girl, Tally Bands. And again, uh, pretty cute girl. Um, Ladies, real quick. Rate on this girl. Y'all give her one to ten. If you can see. A seven. Seven? Shanita? I don't think about seven, eight. Uh, Destiny? She's about an eight, yeah. What you got, Aaliyah? Seven. Uh, C. Marty. Six. Why? Uh, uh I, I would, I would probably go uh, seven ish. I want to see without the wig and makeup though, but she has, she has a cute face. Six. Okay. <laughs> Alex, what you got? Six and a half. Okay. All right, but anyway, you could tell she's a young chick. It's probably a high school graduation or some shit. Honestly, who knows? I can't see that, but uh, shout out to you for graduating. But she says, um, the minimum of you know what ninja should send me, and it's a list of basically what she expects if you're going to deal with her, okay? Oh, she ain't cute enough for that. <laughs> oh, that, nah, that, sure. that was my point. Hold on. <laughs> she tripping. We, 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 we going to get there. We going to get there. She tripping. But she's she cute, young lady. But she's she, 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 she a cute no, young lady. But I mean, this is what I'm telling. She's, Hold she's on. Cute, but she's not. She ain't that damn cute. Oh, no. ladies, let me let me go ahead and then y'all y'all can roast her in a minute. I'm not roasting. I wasn't going. Uh, but breakfast fifty dollars. Lunch is supposed to be eighty. Gas is a hundred. Brunch is one fifty. Uh, dinner is two hundred. And nails and makeup are two fifty. The outfit is three hundred, and uh, the wig and install is four hundred. And she says at the bottom, forty dollars is never acceptable ever in life. Ladies, real quick, do y'all wigs and installs cost four hundred dollars? I don't wear a wig. Uh, I don't I mean, wear it, a wig. It, it, I, and I, it depends on what, uh, what you're getting. Yeah, that's but is, yeah, that, is that, that an average cost though? Or well, that, 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 that depends on what you're getting. Yeah, it really and that actually can be a little more. You know how to do our own makeup. But it, it can be, I mean, but maybe special occasions like if your birthday or something like that or whatever. You're getting it. I mean, I'm assuming she's trying to say that. Yeah, uh, I could spend about 200 on my nails. Yeah. Hold on. Let's, 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 let's do it one, one at a time, uh, real quick. So, uh, Shanita, is that is that an average price or about market value? What do you think? Uh, for for all of it or just something? Uh, I, let's do the wig and the install. The wig and the install is considering I do uh, get, my, I get extensions and whatnot. So, I think and that's, I mean, I think if you just do like to be fair, if you was to get like three bundles of extensions and an install, it can run you about like maybe like six hundred dollars. So depending on where you at, it can be. So the four hundred is maybe a little bit on the lower side, I, but I have seen it be about like six, seven hundred dollars or something mm-hmm. like that, depending on what extensions. If you get color in your hair and all that, they they trim, they tax, they tax trim, they they tax more if you want body curls, steam treatment. <laughs> they look, they tax for everything. Oh wait, I'm exposing myself. Let me be quiet. <laughs> all right, all right. So we gonna. I just had to kind of get a ballpark for us. I don't. I don't really know. But I was saying like that. But even like for example, like the I, I now for makeup, I don't get my makeup done unless it's like my birthday. But I would say like for example, like my nails. When I get my nails and my feet done, that's about like two hundred. Mine about one fifty. Almost. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. It depends on if you get a it. design. Yeah. If you get design. design. Right, hold on, ladies. Hold on, ladies. One at a time. I'm gonna give y'all an opportunity to kind of give your initial reactions to this list. You think she's tripping? You think it's warranted? What are your honest I, reactions when you first get this? And I'm gonna start with Aaliyah because she. Go ahead, Aaliyah. Because I I was gonna say because I saw what you needed a second ago, but it's irrelevant. But go ahead. Um. Honestly. She might need to invest in a DIY nail kit. I'm gonna start there. Mm. Um, I think the whole thing is kind of 
saying he should or it's like he needs to if he's going to deal with her. And, a man is going to do what he wants to for who he wants to do it for. Let's start there. Mm -hmm. And ladies, remember, this is minimum. She didn't say like this oh, is yeah. like the like. That's why I said she tripping. Yeah. No, okay. she she's she's smoking drugs. I, just for you to look like that? What you doing for him? <laughs> but I was about to say, what she has, what has she done for this man? Right. right. Hold on, we don't, we don't get on that. I just want y'all initial crazy. reaction. Sorry. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, Destiny. What you think? What you think? She, she oh, I wasn't, or I, wasn't she I wasn't done yet. Oh, oh no, she was. Oh, she was on. Aaliyah was not done. No, <laughs> breakfast fifty dollars. What are you eating that costs fifty dollars? I mean, that ain't really that much, honestly. So but for breakfast, breakfast, for breakfast, breakfast should be fifty bucks. And she she it's said she wanted bottomless mimosas with her breakfast. Okay. Okay, she orange, take juice, egg orange muffin juice and keep it pushing. champagne at the stove. She can make it herself. She said, take Sh me out or go. And Hold on, y'all. Let, let, let her leave. Go. go ahead, Leah. Lunch, $80. Gas, $100. Gas, I'll agree with. Okay. If you're like, I'm. Yeah, gas is out. Mm, we're not going to talk about <laughs> gas. gas. Gas be hurting everybody's feelings. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. She want breakfast and brunch? What kind oh, of. Oh, I didn't see brunch. Ladies, y'all get y'all chances. Y'all get y'all chances. Said, to breakfast, go. lunch, brunch, and dinner. And dinner. Tripping. She's okay. basically saying I don't want to work at all. Go no, she doesn't. She wants it, to be a stay-at-home girlfriend. Nails and makeup. I agree with Shanita when she said, you know, unless it's for a big event like your birthday, getting your makeup done. Okay, mm -hmm. fine. Nails that can run us all, mm -hmm. depending on what you get. That can run us a couple. That's accurate. Yeah. That's accurate. Yeah. Um, outfit three hundred dollars. That's accurate. Wearing? Depending on what you eat. Like shopping for a full thing or one outfit? That's Alan, you're at the top and the bottom. That can run you about like $300. She don't want to do nothing for herself. All right, that's fine. I'm just saying, depending on where you get the outfit from. That can she may want day. shoes too. She said an outfit. She want the whole ensemble. So this is an everyday thing? I guess it's an everyday thing. Lord. I'm. I don't know. This is just me personally because I'm the type, like I do my own nails now. I do my own toes. Like I used to go to the shop, but I do the acrylics myself. Mm. So I don't wear wigs and soles. If I do, I found a brain. But I'm always looking for like the most reasonable option so if it's a thousand dollars for a wig install i'm not doing it i i can't justify it if my outfits two outfits cost three hundred dollars i can't justify it if i'm gonna wear it once i can't justify it now if it's a bunch of clothes i'm like i need these like for work i will justify three hundred dollars like mm -hmm. are her price points justifiable probably not she just she wants They're to be not. spoiled thank you uh destiny go ahead take this now you good uh yeah I, I think she just don't want to work um i mean the nails and makeup she shouldn't be getting her makeup done every day by a makeup lady i mean the 250 for that combined is a little crazy um the wig and install that's pretty normal i know me i'm a little higher than that but that's 400 is pretty normal um but yeah she it's a little crazy for an everyday thing. She should be kind of doing that for herself, but there's no reason why she should be having brunch and breakfast at the same time, along with lunch. And that's just too much. That's out of control. But, you know, that's just me. What you got, Nana? I think it's unreasonable. I don't think it's a daily thing because you're not going to get a wig installed daily. Yeah, I, I don't think or it's daily either, ladies. I think she's just saying that, if, like, if she requests one of these things to for the guy to do, I think it's just kind of like her price point, so to speak, I guess, but whatever. Yeah, she's yeah. saying you got to do all this, but she's not saying you got to do it every day, but she's saying you got to do it. However, it's unreasonable mm -hmm. because it's like, who are you? Why should somebody do that for you? And also, like, what are you doing for him? You're not giving no incentive to get this extravagant list of stuff done. What you got, Shanita? She got gog gog. Oh my gosh. But you know what? <laughs> but you know what? I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to get on her ass in a minute. Uh, go, go ahead, Shanita. Well, I guess, again, to be fair, um, I don't think, and again, kind of to what everybody else else already said already, I don't really necessarily think there's any. In case you, uh, you later said it, a man going to do what he wants to do or whatever. So mm -hmm. I don't think it's necessarily fair to sit and be like, oh, there is a minimum price or whatever. That's done third. <clears throat> if he wants to do it, if he wants to pay for the whole full thing, then he will pay for the whole entire thing. If oh, he yeah. wants He'll to pay half, yeah, he, will. he will pay half or whatever that might be. He will do it. You don't have to ask him, hey, yeah. but because again, I have friends as well. Like, hey, I'm about to go out with my homegirls. Oh, he go $100. You didn't ask for it. That's just something that he may have just wanted to do. And so if you want to do it, on a frequent basis so yeah i don't think it should ever be for any woman there should be a thing where you 
it has to be. Okay. You should always want someone to want to do nice things for you, but it should never be necessarily a thing where you have a full list. And if he's not doing, I, I don't think that's a fair thing to say. But for her, again, teach his own. So everyone's free to do however they please. I think even in the $40 is never acceptable ever in life. To be fair, I, let's say, okay, for like the breakfast, I don't know why the hell. I mean, I guess, again, it really just depends on maybe where you're at, but to where you're at that's and where you're eating at. For breakfast. But I think for breakfast, the 40 like, if, I think that just is, if someone sent you forty dollars and that's all that let's say that's, that's really all, all that they have, yeah, I cool. value that actually a lot more than let's say somebody that had a shit ton. It that's all that I have to give you, and so I'm going to give you this forty dollars. Take it and be thankful, and just honestly leave it at that. Um, but again, that's just my. I, agree. I just think, yeah, the, list I agree. Is, I just think the list is aggressive as hell. Yeah, uh, uh, like you're making it a requirement. Out, just yeah. outright, like I get having your requirements as a woman, you should. But just being like, yeah, you need to have this price point and you need to do it. And you can't give me $40 because then you're a bum. That's aggressive. Yeah, yeah no, it's a little rude. Too, I think yeah. very, uh, very much so. Alex, what, what you got on this? Uh, what's your opinion? I would just say I feel like why does she feel entitled to ask for anything? Um, I don't understand. First of all, you shouldn't be... <laughs> I don't think you should be asking for anything at this point. When y'all get to that point and they're willing to do things for you, that's fine. But like, what are you doing for him? Who is this person to you? Do you are you doing anything in return? Because a lot of women expect men to do something for them just because oh they think they look good, um, and that is an issue that I have. Because why do you think you just deserve enough money from a bunch of guys? Time for the world to go. This is my problem that I have with a lot of women. Okay. Ladies, why do you think that she has this price point? Because is it because oh. niggas have done it before, for her before? Yeah. Or is it because yeah. she's being delusional? Probably 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 men have done it probably before her. Before her. You can go ahead and stop sharing it uh, real quick, Alex. Here's my point, though. I have noticed in my outside dating life that I have is that the majority of these joints are actually out here broke and they're struggling. They'll never show you that on Instagram, but I've ha I have had chicks who I've talked to for a day or two think I'm some simp that's going to be paying for their stuff because other dudes have already done it. I've noticed a large increase of women just saying, hey, you want to like uh, pay a bill, get my nails done, this, that, and the third. And I'm just like, I'm not that dude. I tell them all the time, you got the right game, but the wrong nigga. A lot of women, they want to go ahead and tell you they want you to be comfortable enough. They are comfortable enough to ask you for money. But when we ask for our equivalent of say, hey, if you're going to be doing this, how about I get some sex out of you? All of a sudden, you're the spawn of Satan. You're Adolf Hitler were born. <laughs> and the reason she's able to ask for this stuff is because most dudes will give it to her just with the, for the opportunity for them to possibly have some sex. <laughs> and she's not going to tell you because girls are experts at this. They're not going to tell you, hey, you know what? I'm never going to sleep with you. Never going to let you take me out. But they will say, hey, they'll answer the question, what's your cash app? What's your Venmo? And they'll keep kind of extracting those resources until they get all they can out of you while getting nothing in return. And this is where it's the guy's fault. Coach Greg Adams always says the best. Protect your meat. This is not a pause. It's an acronym. But your money, That's energy, attention, and time. So when you protect those things, any girl that is not having sex with you actively, you should not be trying to finance, uh, get her nails done, whatever the case is, because women will take advantage of that. They won't go, hey, I just asked this guy for some money last week. Let me stop, ask, let me stop asking him for more money. She'll say, oh, this guy's a bitch. I can get money out of him. How much can I get? That's what women will do. So I tell this girl... <laughs> She is delusional, but not, not delusional in the sense that it hasn't already been done for her before. And she's another girl. She's young. She's hot and she's cute. She's not thinking about when she's 30 and 35, how stupid she's going to look when she looks back at this, because all she's going to do is be getting run through by all the ballers, the rappers and stuff, never going to wife her. And she thinks she's going to be young, hot and tight forever. So. I get why she's doing that, but I have to blame the men because it's their fault for not guarding their money by not expecting anything in return. What you got, C. Martin? 
you hit the you hit the nail on the head. Coach Greg, Coach Greg Adams also says um, a lot of women don't want a man; they want a pet wallet. <laughs> I like that. So they just want to keep going back to uh, you know keep getting resources. They feel entitled. So it is what it is, bro. But y'all, you hit it. You hit everything, bro. All right, so now we on to fantasy and nonsense. Oh, Our other, this is really some nonsense. Oh shit! Our other reaction video segment. Oh brother! And go ahead and bring that up for us, Alex. I want to ask y'all before we start, though, ladies, have y'all been seeing the oh, brother the Chris Brown photos going viral? Uh, yeah. You just talking about that? I could never. Um, I think no, I, I seen it. Yeah. So we're gonna see a firsthand account of a woman that got broke up with because. Won't you engage? He's insecure because she mm-hmm. took an inappropriate picture, kind of intimate photo with Chris Brown. No, so he okay. put that. Oh no, no. oh, this isn't the one. Story. It was another one. Was it was like another one recently. It was another one. She was like straddling him. All right, let's, let's get it. Which mean green did you have? That's a swan. This is from Columbus. Oh, Columbus. Yep. Yeah. Literally after my picture went viral, my boyfriend broke up with me about a week later after arguing because he felt oh, like. Chris was too close on me. I'm just like, it's one of the most respectable pictures. I felt like I was bending over, grabbing my ankles. Um, but I, I would trade my ex for me and Chris Brown a hundred more times. So definitely, really, really worth it. Which mean green did you have? That's just wrong. That's crazy, bro. The disrespect. You know, and I, I'm gonna go she ahead. Didn't have to say that last part. Yeah, she did. And that, was <laughs> that was crazy. Wild. That was she could have kept that to herself. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and go while it's fresh in my mind, but. This is what I always say. And Rolo Tomasi has a bar of a chapter in Rational Mail. It's just like, it says hypergamy does not care. And what hypergamy essentially means is that when your girl has an opportunity to potentially be around a higher status guy than you, she doesn't care that y'all been in love for 10 years. She doesn't care all the things you've done for her. She doesn't care about any of that because all of it becomes irrelevant after a point in time. Now, not all women, but the majority of them. And remember, most women have what I call placeholder boyfriends. The majority of women do not actually like their boyfriends. It's just that women are actually scared to really be alone. So they deal with these chumps and losers to make themselves feel wanted and validated. Now, what I would do, here's what I would do. I would not trip if my girl, me personally, this is me personally, I would not trip if my girl took a picture with Chris Brown because I know what it is. It's entertainment. It's a thing that she did. Whatever. I'm not tripping because I'm confident enough in myself as a man to say, look, you want to mess up what we have to potentially go with a nigga that's probably just going to fuck you at best and, and toss you to the side? Do that. I'm not tripping. But here's the issue that I have. Most women are not with guys like me. And most guys are extremely territorial and protective of their women. And these are the same women that I told you that honestly already broke. They don't have money to be shelling out to go and do these meet and greets. His meet and greet is what, 1200 I think? Something like yeah. that for a picture? Yeah. So why the hell are you shelling out $1,200 to go have another nigga like grope up on you, fill up on you? You can't help me with no bills. But what yeah, I was about to say, he wants you to pay the rent. Yeah, but when I ask you to do something that's an issue, I get where cuz is coming from. Would I have broken up with her? No. But I get why most guys do because they're extremely territorial and they're extremely possessive of their women. There's nothing wrong with that. And to back on that last part, she said, she said, I would have done it a hundred times again if I could. That should tell you how she felt about you as a guy. And it validates my point. Most women don't really like their boyfriends like that. And if a higher status dude ever shows up, she's out of there. What you got, C. Marty? Oh, you're absolutely right, bro. I wouldn't put up with that shit. Um, that's just me. I would, I would, I would definitely. Why? I don't understand why you want to take a picture with him that bad. Like, what do you get from it? A year from now, you're not going to be thinking about that picture. He ain't going to remember you. Damn all sure you, I ain't going to remember you. All you was is a, a quick two-minute interaction in the paycheck. Yeah. And, and honestly, and to be real, not to cut you off, bro, uh, most of y'all ain't bad enough to fuck Chris Brown in the first place. Chris Brown is like, Chris Brown's like the A-list of A-list celebrities. 
and a lot of chicks that Chris like a lot of chicks that most dudes would pay to piss on them Chris Brown wouldn't look twice at it because he has so many women so if you really think you're going to uh, leave your husband or boyfriend he gonna take your ass serious besides maybe just a nut I got news for you you want to finish your thoughts see Mario you was good um I was about to say something uh oh and then just the the economy right now mm -hmm. why are you spending a thousand on that that's a waste that's a 1200 on that that's a waste <laughs> of bread bro so um not not only is it disrespectful but you're just you're not financially sound so yeah take that shit somewhere else and I think Chris Brown actually again we don't know him but like from what I've seen he seems to be one of the cooler celebrities you know he actually seems to be pretty down to earth and humble appearances I don't know the guy saying what, what I've seen but even then I can't justify somebody spending that amount of money when we know the majority of people make under fifty five thousand dollars a year in this country I, I don't get it and it's and he's taking a picture with his dick on her butt bro crazy dick on butt a thousand dollars to have another man put his schmeat on your buns is crazy that is crazy that is crazy 1200 to put his schmeat on your buns that's crazy the same buns i gotta that's my reward at night <laughs> but he get to put his schmeat on your buns and you pay it for it but you don't but you don't even pay you can't even make me a sandwich it's like oh wow uh alex what, what you got what you got on this nah, i agree i just feel like and the, to even say like i would choose chris brown over my ex chris brown doesn't even know who you are he's not gonna remember you and somebody who's probably done so much for you you're gonna drop in the section in, in the in that dime just because you're feeling high off of emotion is actually insane because when you need somebody you're not gonna be able to call chris brown facts. Mm -hmm. that's all i'm gonna say facts yeah. but you but you see this goes back to my other great with women that I have. Uh -oh. They don't care. It's an emotional decision. They don't care about the consequences. All they care about is what feels good right now, here in the moment. Yeah. Fuck true. five I'm minutes from now. There. Fuck a year from now. Fuck the past. All that matters in a woman's mind is right now. And they call you insecure and not a real man. All right, ladies. Let's turn over here. Y'all's horse shit. Why? Why I got to be horse shit? Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Prove him wrong. Uh, uh, well, what's the question? How do y'all feel about this lady getting broken up with because of a picture with Chris Brown? It was a justified decision. He okay. should have broke up with her. That's embarrassing. She, she was acting like a goofy. And then on top of that, that's embarrassing that she was acting like that. It's embarrassing you spent $1,200 for a picture with somebody that is, doesn't even know your name or give a fuck about you. And then to throw insult to injury then you gonna dismiss me toward the end and say you would do it a hundred times over i would and she would have let him fuck nigga she that's basically what she's saying so yeah and also you ask you spend the 1200 but you probably asking your man for money it's crazy yeah pictures like that yep uh shanita what you got Yo, oh, shit. You would do it. <laughs> she would do it. She would do it. She would do it. She would do that's it. why. Like, <laughs> hey, keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. I mean, I guess my whole thing is like, at least when it comes to the the money tip, I probably am a little bit, um, a little bit more flexible. For a picture, it's not. It's not even picture. About experience. My, my thing is, mm -hmm. if it's something, at least that's the way I was also brought up to be. Like my dad would be like. If you, if I give you two hundred dollars and you want to spend that two hundred dollars on bubble gum, I don't give to you that if that's what makes you happy. So and again, I'm, I'm not just saying like, that's just how that's how if it makes you happy, then cool. So I'm just saying if, if money wasn't a thing, let's say she's someone she's if she's make two fifty and she do actually pretty okay for herself, and that's what from her own money and she went off and went to go do that. I personally, I miss I guess maybe comparison. I've seen other pictures of some of Chris Brown's meet and greet where girls are actually like on top of him just yeah. a lot more absurd so to me that picture actually didn't look that again to my perspective didn't look that so, right. right. in, in, compa in comparison yeah, to some of these was. other ones that i think were way more disrespectful not saying, that wasn't, not saying that still it wasn't, wasn't bad it really wasn't that bad i think just, it was just a comment that she had made at the very end i think if anything 
they could have discussed it and talked about it. But even I'm pretty sure they may have discussed it prior to her going. Like, I'm pretty sure going to tell you a dude, like, babe, I'm about to go to a meet and greet. Everyone has already been seeing how, what type of pictures are being taken. Well, hey, babe, you know, maybe have some type of conversation, see how he might you, feel about it. You really have a lot more faith in women than I do. So, who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm just maybe I'm also thinking about what I would do. If I'm, it's usually things I'm about to do. I'm gonna tell my partner, like, hey, I'm going here. Well, you know they be doing the center third or whatever. Like, you know, like, hey, I probably been doing the side a little piece on something goofy. Yeah, I'm I was silly about to anyways. say, would you just change the pose? I would have just changed the pose and just did something would like you, that. You wouldn't let him put his schmidt on your buns? No schmidt, but I, but again, I no, I wouldn't. Uh, um, I I anytime I've been in a relationship or anyone that I'm talking to, I'm really since I am very emotional. I like to also make sure I'm being respectful to my partner by also asking, like, hey, if I'm going to do this, then a third, or hey, I was doing my doing this, and maybe in my mind, in my perspective, it wasn't disrespectful. Let me ask you first, how would you feel let's about this? The, That's fair. Let's ask the tough questions. Mm -hmm. Would you fuck Chris Brown? No, we're not. No. No. And I, and I, and I yeah. say, no, there Absolutely is no, there is no cap. And I say that also because um, I used to work at the casino um, at one point in time. And there were a lot of different like celebrities going in and out, or even then people that won't like let's say I guess celebrities that we were that we would know, but people that made really really like good money, having like fifty thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars on the table, and lose it in one hand, and, like laugh and find it funny, like somebody's whole salary in one year and just in one table. Oh, that this ain't shit, and have prompted and offered um offered me money. I actually ended up getting um uh, suspended for one point in time because at the, at the time because someone disrespected me by offering me bread and i had my uh kid's father come up there and show him like you don't disrespect me like that so yeah no i would not stop the cap no am i lying no she's not lying she, i mean I'm, i wouldn't I'm not lying. Lying. like yeah i got suspended he, for that he done been through like 10 girls before you that night or more like why am i gonna be number it don't really like you. It don't matter. I, you know, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing yeah, it's that. It's about experience. Uh, uh, Aaliyah, it's, say, it's, no, say, not say me. me. <laughs> Come on, I want to see if Aaliyah gonna keep it a buck. First of all, what's your reaction to the video? And then, would you fuck Chris Brown? I think the picture was fine. I mean, she was just standing there like it was a prom pose, in my opinion. No okay. She said after the fact. She could have kept that too. And that she spent twelve hundred dollars is a premise. That's goofy. I, don't, I, don't, I guess I don't know. I mean, okay. There was, okay. There was two okay. questions posed there, but go ahead. Okay, the twelve hundred dollars thing. I agree with Shanita. It's the experience. It's for the experience. Like you, you, you need twelve hundred dollars to feel. <laughs> I'm okay. I mean, if you talk with about it with your significant other, that's different. That is if different. Are, if you talk yeah, about it's it. different. But if she just went off the strength, obviously it was already an issue. I feel like it's a different story. And yeah, just, he broke situation. up with her. Like that, there was yeah. a discussion that happened prior. He was like, "Don't do it." And she did it anyway. Yeah. So, or she didn't say anything to him because she knew it would have been a problem. She did it anyway. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she knew who yeah, she was yeah. dealing with. Okay. Maybe but something happened prior to that, which led to him breaking up with her. So whatever the reason. And he probably was justified for it. The the picture in itself wasn't disrespectful. Yeah. What she said was mm. asinine. Um, the twelve hundred dollars. I was stuck at that. <sighs> Can I ask I, a question? I, so your your man goes to Megan Thee Stallion or Sweetie, Sexy Red, and she's doing the pictures. Would you be cool with him putting his schmeat on her butt in the picture and paying twelve hundred for it? The hell, I'm going with him. Yeah, I didn't ask that. Like, and I'm spreading the cheeks. <laughs> oh, y'all know. Y'all are capping. Y'all are capping. Y'all are capping, bro. Y'all are capping, bro. My back's gonna be a hard head. Y'all are capping, bro. If y'all see y'all niggas smiling at the grocery store to a woman, y'all be upset. I'll be the one calling up. Can you see that girl with a fat ass? Like, damn, she bad as shit. Oh, no, I'm not doing So you would be cool with him hugged up on her, shmeet on butt. Yeah, if we could do it together. Oh, yeah. I want a picture with Megan. I mean, Megan. his shit going to be on my butt later tonight. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't, it's a picture. I it's don't see picture. what the, the big deal is. Oh I'll tell you what's up. Some people cool with it. Some people not. Wait, wait, wait. Not, not, if it's, not if it's $1,200. You could have spent that on me. That's what, what I'm That's what I'm saying. $1,200 for him. I'm just stuck on the money. I'm just stuck on the money for the picture. We're both fans. You know how I know they capping. How do you know we're capping? You know how I know you capping. Because girls will, a girl will forgive you for having sex with another girl. Uh-uh. They won't forgive you for... Spending money on another chick, though. I'm trying to tell you. Alexa, please. I ain't for her either. What you mean? Y'all like y'all want y'all's resources to yourself. Y'all ain't about to like have him and like another that. girl's face and then spend money to do it. Y'all capping on this joint. I know Megan don't I, want him. He'd be fine. She, she, she sure don't want him. She, she sure don't want him. She don't want him. Chris Brown don't want y'all. What's the difference? Okay, that's fine. I just want to lunch. I didn't ask the question. I wait till it's my turn. I'll be quiet. Oh, it's my turn. Good girl. Yo, don't, don't, hey, dog, you fed into it. But yeah, uh, Destiny is your turn. Go ahead. Okay. Be quiet. 
<laughs> don't don't go on command for him. That's crazy. <laughs> no, I'm just wait a second. Wait a second. And I didn't answer the last crazy. question either. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, what were you go saying, ahead, Leah? Go I'm go sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. See, I'm glad. Look, integrity. That's one point. Go ahead. Wow, was that a compliment? A backhanded one. Call the press. <laughs> I thought you don't compliment women. I don't. It's a backhanded one. You're a monster. Go ahead, Leah. <laughs> Well, now I don't want to answer because all he's going to think is yeah. I'm lying. So. No, Lee, go ahead. Well, we know I she, hear. she going to say no, she wouldn't fuck with uh, Brown. I, no, he's I, not I my say... type. He got a snow cone head. Yeah, he's not my cow. type either. He put rainbow colors on uh, the uh, face. Uh, you too no. skinny. <laughs> he's not my type. So, who, we, so we who just had a whole discussion that, about who's your type? Who is your type that's a celebrity? So like, if like who would you actually have sex with if you did the picture? Like, who? What would the celebrity? Who would the celebrity be? The first person I can think of He's real aggravated. Oh, look who's who's the what's the guy's name from Black Panther? Not the oh uh Chadwick. No, not the the Michael B. Jordan. Winston Duke. Yes, I love him. Oh my god. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The one that does the, the gorilla um, grunt. Who, who is that? The, huh. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He looked like he'd be good. Oh, yeah. I, was, I, was I would climb that tree. Are, are you kidding me? I'm oh, risking it off. He looked a little rough. I'm like, I'm sorry, yeah. Jesus. I'm <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. Where, where are we at? <laughs> so, where are we at? <laughs> no, I would have You asked the question. She I said she it. was. I was just trying to see, like, who I would. So, if you pay the 1200 and did the picture and then saw him, so you would risk it all for him? Ladies. I'll be respect. I'll be respectful. I'll be respectful. She said yes, kids. but if the opportunity was on the table, they said yes. I, okay, <laughs> wait. And if it's a hard no. in this question, I'm in a relationship. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not. I, I'm no, not no, doing no. it. Y'all lying. Now, no way. Thank, thank you. Okay. No, 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 I was just listening. I'm playing with y'all. You no, she's the truth. No, I was. I was. No, I was playing. You just have no faith in women. I was definitely joking. I just want a reaction. It's all right. You're right. I have no faith. They're not lying. They're not lying. They're. They're loyal. Yeah, I would never do that if I was in a relationship. Not in a relationship. But, they weren't. But no, if, I was, if I was single. If I was single. Uh, if I was single. single. Sorry, my accent coming. Hey, if I was let single. Me, let me ask y'all a question. You want me to see Marty do these y'all can go ahead and fantasize about who y'all want to fuck? Mm. I mean, let's turn to a different podcast. No, like, no we're women. We y'all ask the question. <laughs> I can turn mine off and on. It's okay. Well, women, we can multitask. Absolutely. Keep talking. Let's think about it. Hold on. Let me turn off my switch. All right. Continue. Thank yeah. you for bringing that up. <laughs> turn off your switch. Wait. Girl, be a rebel. <laughs> yeah. Because this bitch thinking about it. <laughs> she, sure. she got quiet. Back off. He's mine. Anyway. Look, I don't want to think about him. I'll think listen, about somebody else. I'm going to say this. <laughs> Back I, off. I was going to be so respectful and just I so nice. I, I'm, I'm going to be proud of y'all tonight, but y'all no, just literally took the shit to the left. Where's the, where's y'all the, ask where's the, the cat when button? Where's the cat button? Can we all go around asking who? We risk it. Actually, good idea. Go ahead. What happened? What was so not, not, we're all loyal. We would I never know. risk oh, it for course. anybody. Just hypothetically. I would never do hypothetically. that. Hypothetically. I would never do that. When I'm oh, in love, course. I'm in love. Of course. Of course. Of course. Hypothetically, though, ladies. Go I don't ahead. cheat. Go ahead. Hypothetically. I'm listening. If I'm, I'm being completely honest, game. though, if I'm being completely honest, my conscience is way too big. I couldn't do yeah, it. No. I it would eat away at me. I couldn't do it to him. I I'm wouldn't sorry. do it. My conscience is too heavy. Yeah. And a I'm a horrible look, liar. A guy could flirt with me with his eyes. If I'm in a relationship, I'm like, don't look at I'm like, me. don't look at him. I'm like, <laughs> like, yeah, I can't do it. Oh, you lying now. No, no. Now you lying. Because no. everybody looks at people. It's okay to look. They look. But I can't interact with you if I'm attracted ladies, to you. I'm ladies, with someone. I can't we, do we, it. We got we to gotta stop this. Because y'all y'all capping now. We got we to keep this going. This side was a lie. Everybody yeah. look. Okay. Um. So, Destiny, you had the next... Next point. Can you give me the question again? I'm so sorry. What's your reaction to the video and would you have fucked Chris Brown? I don't think it was that serious. The picture was pretty, like, again, it looked like a regular prom photo. He wasn't doing nothing crazy. No, I would never sleep with Chris Brown because he's not my type. I'm sorry. I like my man with a little meat on him. He's too skinny. No, I mean, I'm, he's type. too skinny. I need I need some... some... <laughs> he's too skinny. I can't do it. If you look like I can break your thighs when I sit on him. No. If I can't take you down to see my family and you can't eat, it's a, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. No, he he can't eat. He don't like he can eat. But other than that, it's I mean, drugs. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> you just told her Santa Claus don't exist. <laughs> right. Oh my God! Y'all getting on my nerves. No. <laughs> like, where are we at? Like, like, we but at? I don't. I think what she said was pretty messed up afterwards, though. All right, y'all. Let's 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 move into right, this. Let's topic. move. Let's move into this. Never mind. La last segment of of the day. 
Uh, this is what we call our unplugged segment. Unplugs where we give somebody on Reddit an article, some kind of dating advice, and our resident narrator, Alex, is going to read this. We're going to read the post, give our honest input on it, and just keep it as, as real as possible. Um, so the title, and I can kind of see this today. Oh, boy. You'll make a good husband someday. Oh, wow. What on earth does that even mean? Go ahead, Alex. That's it. <laughs> so yeah. recently, a fine lady I met at a festival gave me her number and we got to chatting. I thought I was doing well with the flirting and all since we ended up going on two dates. On those dates, I discovered that not only did I like her looks, but I really liked her vibe as well. When I shot her a text suggesting we should be exclusive and official, she tells me how I'm a nice guy and that I'll make a great husband one day, but she doesn't really want to skip any phases. Let mm. we... Mm. <laughs> She, she lets she leaves to what less she lives to regret it i really don't understand what this is supposed to mean can someone please explain it uh, means oh, that oh brother this guy <laughs> i'll explain i'll explain it for you real quick buddy okay here we go uh, now leave it up real quick i was, i gotta read i gotta read back read this back real quick um in case y'all don't know ladies i know this is a shock to and it's gonna be like be weird to you but Uh-oh. i didn't get women in one point in my life I was the. Pro- <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Oh, brother. I, I know. Nice I know. <laughs> oh, right. brother. Hold on. Right. Hold on. Press the button. Don't lie. You, this is going to shock oh. you. Lies. No, this is going to shock you. Oh, wait. Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all I love school. you guys. Oh my gosh. Let me get my bag real quick. Boy, if you don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> that was on our side. Yeah. Yeah, Lex. Yeah, Lex. Who side are you on? Yeah, Lex. Who side are you on? Right, right, right now, Alex. Hey, call his ass out, Lex. Right now, Alex. Call out that bullshit. All right, so let me go ahead and say what I was going to say. So I have had plenty of girls and say this to me almost verbatim. They always have told me is that you'll make a good husband someday. So let me explain to you guys what that means. Back to our favorite word, hypergamy of the day. That's a compliment. It's definitely not. So women have two two strategies. We have the alpha, the alpha need. That means women want the genetics. So that's when a woman starts messing with the Tyrone, Pookie, Ray Ray, Chad, the thug, people like that. And as as y'all can see, I'm not that person, right? And then they have the beta need which is they need oh, provisioning, uh, guys that can provide resources. And I've always been that guy that could provide that. So when a oh, chick tells you that she you're, you're going to be good husband material one day, she's basically saying, hey, when Tyrone Pookie and Ray Ray is done slutting me out, I'll go ahead and give you sloppy seconds. And you'll have the privilege of being my husband one day. And I'll make you pay for all the things that I gave another man for free. <laughs> what is laughing? <laughs> because I'll say this women, I got nothing to say. Who thinks all that? Who made them? Just laughing this man out. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the joke. Like, <laughs> bro, they really laughing at sh- <laughs> Yo, You got Dr. Turner Ray. I guess it's just a shot. Why are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, so, uh, oh God. You're really over there crying. Don't cry. Don't cry. You cry too. Up. Hold up, ladies. They said, hey, Rob, they, I mean, uh, TK, they said, that's horse shit, bro. <laughs> Listen. They said, that's ladies, a whole bunch of horse shit. Oh, Refute me. Tell, you, you Why think are y'all much. crying? Tell, tell, tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> You're I'm wrong. wrong. <laughs> that's crazy. I was not expecting that reaction. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm going to juice some water. Yeah, Please, do. Stop laughing, bro. No. All right, listen, listen. We got to get back to order now. Okay, so. It was funny. Tell me why I'm wrong. I'm listening. (laughs) (laughs) Please stop. 
I was drinking. I was breathing. I can't breathe. Why are you breathing my direction? Go that way. Ladies, <laughs> ladies, ladies, I get it. That's fine. Okay. Wait. Now somebody respond to what I said. Is is that the only reason why she would have said that, in your opinion? Absolutely. No. <sighs> Tell me why I'm wrong. I'm listening. She might have actually thought he was husband material. I mean, why well, can't that mean you're a good man? Yeah. <laughs> that was a nice way of saying you're a good man. Just not for me. Right. That's it. Well, not I mean, it does. Does. and that don't even mean she want to come back around later. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, y'all. Again, I kind of did what I would say is like the underlying feeling of that. And yes, you are right at a basic level. That was I'm not attracted to you, but you it see, could, it could. I'm sorry to cut you off. It could mean ahead. she's not attracted to him. It could mean like she's got her own shit going on and she's trying to put herself out there, oh. but realize at that moment she's not ready to date. But she realized this is a good guy. But by the time I'm ready. He can make somebody else happy, but he can't make me happy in this moment. She mm-hmm. arguing with her okay. man. What does that mean? Yeah. She what does that mean with her man? Yeah. Like, but see, this is what I'm saying with guy with women. You, if if a woman wants to be married, you guys don't wait to snatch up a good man. It literally goes down to the attractive thing. Because I've had girls that were in bad spaces, head spaces, but they see me, the top G coming through. They say, "I'm not. I I can't miss this boat." Talking shit, King. <laughs> So again, it's a like, but that's not every woman. Yeah, There's exactly. some woman who's like, I need to be in my bubble. Or what if she's working on herself and she's not just not ready to settle down right now? <laughs> Don't say that because he's gonna think she just thought herself out everywhere. No, like Why sometimes people come. Extreme I, know what I know what you're saying. Out of a bad situation, want to heal. And yeah, they, I don't want to heal. I, I, I know what you're saying, but they just it. heard. Somebody hit she's me. Like, so they can't tell a bit. Y'all am I hitting it? No, this they could have went through something traumatic. But hold on, and this is what I'm saying with y'all, like, bro, like. Let's I'm cut. Let's cut the shit for a minute. Most women, y'all might be different. Not y'all, the others. But most women are not just sitting out here not having sex with nobody. And I say it all the time. And Oliver has said this: when you meet a chick, nine chances out of ten, you're taking it from somewhere else. Somewhere else. Now it might not be anything serious or committed, but the majority of women that you talk to are going to be fucking or dealing with another man. So why? How is that fair to me as a man when I built myself up? Made myself the prize, and you're going to tell me, "Hey, you know what? I know you've done all that, but I'm going to make you wait and pay a higher price for a man that's probably below me anyway." How's that fair to that man? Because again, she might be the exception, but chances are she's not out here just not having sex and just really working on herself. The the case probably is she's fucking somebody else and keeping you as a backup option for most women. Maybe y'all are different. Y'all not. But if y'all I were. Am. I am. I think we're Definitely different. Definitely are. Yeah. I mean, I also didn't interpret it that type no. of way at all. I uh, literally uh, just. Uh, li- of course you didn't. Oh, I think it was <laughs> Again, overanalyzed. Yeah, I really, do. Yeah, I really think it was just that. Like, either there was no attraction there or she's either dealing with someone else. No chemistry or something to that extent. And that don't necessarily mean that, hey, later on, that me and you, you are good for someone else. I can still, or even like, I can still recognize how you are a good man, just not you a good a man good for person, me. But it's not for me. It's not That's working it. for the me. Reason for that, me. The reason that, and his perspective, he might have thought, he said that the dates were going well, but she said, you'll be a good husband someday. Her perspective might have been, yeah, he just not for me. But my well, point is that if she, if he really was going to be a good husband, she'd be with him. But she not. That doesn't mean that. No. Some, sometimes people just aren't evenly yoked and they're not compatible yeah. or they don't share similar interests. So while I acknowledge that you're, you're going to be a provider, you're intelligent, you're successful or whatever, we just don't have that chemistry. That's what that could mean. Yeah. It doesn't have to always yeah, be like we're a not physical marrying somebody. There's no chemistry Okay, there. so now what's the point of telling me that I'm going to be good husband material? What's the be, point of that? Maybe we she, just said it. It's a compliment. Are we speaking French? Yeah. No, it's not, not for me. No, no, you're not speaking French. I'm saying it's horse shit. Not, because no, see, it's this, not. this, this Who is hurt this, you? This, this is a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> she could, she could be hinting that he is has no material for her. She's just saying, you know. Bro, if, you, if you hurt, bro, just say you hurt, bro. Yeah. Shut up. I'm, I'm bitter, bro. You know. I, I don't Clearly, know what I'm we can about. see that. What did they do to you out there? Hey, listen. This Look, is what happened when he was in kindergarten. All right. Huh. Hit, hit. Oh, ladies, you hit a nerve, Can't ladies. You hit a nerve. <laughs> Little Susie didn't share with him or something. <laughs> he said, F all y'all with me. He but brought then, her a Valentine's Day <laughs> card and he gave it that. Yeah, she took his chocolates and gave it to somebody else. Fuck these hoes. Fuck these hoes. Damn it. 
All y'all gonna get it nowadays. I'm, gonna I'm tell, sick of y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all what's going on. I'll do monogamy. On. All my I'm life, a, I had to fight. All my life, on. I had to fight. <laughs> Hold up, man. They cook, <laughs> hey, they cook you today. I'm gonna tell y'all this. I'm gonna tell y'all this. I'm sorry. They cooking the host today. I'm sorry. I laughed too hard. Stop snitching on yourself. You want to be honest with the line? No, but like, it's the typical woman. So it's the deflections, it's the laughing, because you really don't have anything to answer what I'm saying. No, bro, say your question again. Shame, insult, guilt, the need to be right. No, no, say your question again. TK Samuels. I'm telling you, bro. I hate So he just going to ignore me. Y'all think y'all think the lot the loud laughing and uh, stuff like that is funny, but like yeah, it's really because you don't have anything to say what I'm saying. No, and I'm just not. saying with well, women. We well, heard what on, you said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Finish, hold, on, hold, on hold on. My point is that when women, when women talk, they very rarely aren't a direct people. And we said that earlier with the pot the balloon guy. The reason that this guy is able to, he got so much flack, is because when men talk, we're from point A to point B. When women talk, it goes from they have to filter certain shit in their head before it comes out of their mouth. Men mm. go from the head to the brain. Women go from the head to the heart to the stomach and then out their mouth. So my point in saying this is a girl very rarely, there are some girls that are direct, but very rarely will a girl ever just say, hey, you know what? We don't have any chemistry. I don't like you. I don't want to see you anymore. It has to always be with a, a little bit of hint of either passive aggressiveness or trying to give a guy false hope. My point in saying the reasons that she said you'll make a great husband one day, it's not a conscious thing, but she said that to keep him on the hook. And women's are, women are experts at that. They give your ass just enough to keep your ass around in case something doesn't work out. She could have just said, like I said, hey, no chemistry, not feeling you, take care. But what she say? I'm going to give this nigga a little bit of a carrot. And if I don't, if I decide that I might want to be with this nigga one day, it's right there for him to take it. That's my point and what I'm saying to you guys. Can I can I add something so you, here? Go ahead. Go ahead. So, I'm sorry. Destiny. No, no, no. Go ahead. Because I feel like this is just a snippet because I, I'm not on Reddit a lot. I feel like this is like Twitter or X, whatever it's called. This is Reddit. Go ahead. I, no, I'm saying co character count. He might have just left out some information. Maybe she thought he was a creep. Maybe he made her uncomfortable. The re Some women are very passive aggressive about their response to things because some. you you don't know the man you're dealing with. It's us versus them. So we're on a date with a guy. We always have to think to ourselves, okay, what's the exit strategy just in case? He might be a little crazy. That's true. I'm going to yeah. say I don't think that's accurate only because they did go on multiple dates. Thank you. No, and I'm, I'm saying, but maybe because I've had a friend, she's gone on multiple dates with somebody. And then at some point during that last date, she was like, something don't sit right with me. They were having a discussion. Everything was going fine the first two days. That third date, she was like, he's starting to say some stuff that's weird, getting a little too comfortable. But insert himself places that he don't need to be inserting himself. Can I ask you a question? You don't got to put your friend out there. But during those dates, did your friend fuck that guy? No. You're proving my point, though. Because women give your ass just enough to see. Women don't, they don't, they're not around guys they don't get some kind of value from. So he's taking her on dates. She's getting time. She's getting attention. She's getting money. And then all of a sudden, when he says, you know what? Hey, I'm trying to push up for some sex. All of a sudden, it's like, nigga, I'm not giving you that. And she starts feeling uncomfortable at that point. So why is it okay for me to give you all the things that I have to offer as a man? Because we bring a lot to the table. We bring the time, the attention. The I was using the example as, example of an uncomfortable situation. But what, as to why what was she uncomfortable had to be, about it, though? He started doing things that she said no. It wasn't about giving him the carrot. She genuinely liked to do. That third date was you started to do a little things. Like you, you made yourself a little too comfortable at this point. I don't know you from a can of paint. I'm still trying to get to know you. But see, that's and not what, every woman is the same. But see, that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Women, for the most part, you guys are not stupid. And this is one of my favorite lines. It's like women are smart enough to play dumb. And this is what you guys are doing right now. So women, they're shaking hands with you, knowing if they're going to fuck you or not. It might not be tomorrow or the next week, but you guys go constantly in your brain talking to a guy that, hey, if he doesn't say anything stupid, I'll have sex with him. So my point in saying that is you went on three dates. You knew on the first date you wanted to see anything possible going further with this guy. But what happened, it probably was a case of that she wasn't that interested in him. He was providing value and she didn't have any other options at that point in time. And then when it got to that third date, he might have done something weird, creepy, whatever the case is. She's like, I don't like him anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and let him go. 
And it's easy to walk away because you know what? She hasn't invested. Women invest with their body. So remember, it's called the sunk cost fallacy. The more that you invest, the less likely you are to walk away. That's why I tell guys to get a girl to sleep with you as fast as possible. Because if a girl sleeps with you fast, she's going to think about walking away before she leaves. Because women don't like catching new bodies. Now, really evaluate this. On those three or four dates, what has that man done? Invested time, energy, money. What has she done? Giving him his presence. She can say, you know what? I haven't really done anything with this guy. I'll walk away from it. It's easy to cut it off at that point in time. So that's why I say women don't really talk. When you're talking, it's not a direct kind of thinking. I assess the situation immediately because you guys are nonverbal communicators. I have to walk up to a girl I can see automatically. If she's interested, what she's thinking about, body language does not lie. And it's his fault again for taking the girl on three dates without getting sex. Because the majority of women, the majority, not all, but a girl will sleep with you in two or three dates. Most, most women will if it's good enough. You think your friend would have made Chris Brown wait three, three or four dates? This is not about Chris Brown. But answer the question. Would she have made him wait? She wouldn't have slept with him. See, Marty, go ahead, man. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, now, listen, we got sidetracked here, but ladies, go ahead and please give your advice to this man because I'm just thinking too much. I'm, I'm thinking too deep into it. I don't know what I'm talking about, so they know what they're talking about. So, la <laughs> ladies, go ahead, please. Help this man out. She complimented you, sir, but she's not interested. <laughs> Slide out. <laughs> she's not interested in you. The the same the same way that women think telling a guy she's a nice guy is a compliment. It's the same thing as saying you're gonna make a good husband someday. And I told you what the underlying text of that means. You do not get my pussy wet. But I'll use you for your time and attention and money. Be more toxic, sir. Thank, thank you. Now we finally getting somewhere. I'm surprised you said that. No, now she be keeping With, it real. Oh. She keeps it real for the most part. <laughs> I, that was the realest thing she said. I would say real stuff. I just be playing sometimes. Like they was on joke time tonight, but like I said, it's like it's. Listen, they're mad because they can't pimp me with they bullshit. They know I know the game. And I see through the facade. We shatter all illusions. That yeah, we yeah. I do think that was a little overanalyzed, yeah. though. Just that. It okay. was all Batman monologue. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Batman monologue is crazy. I really laughed that man out. Be because I, mean, yeah. I never thought about all that before. Yeah, when I, like, I was Don't make like, us laugh again. No, for hold, real. Like, hold, hold on, ladies. And again, this is my last Batman monologue for tonight. But you realize there are actions that you do consciously and subconsciously, right? Like when you're driving home, assuming you know where you're going, are you thinking that, hey, I'm going to walk outside, get in the car, open the door, turn turn the ignition on, then I'm going to make a left on two to go down I-95, or you, do you just do it? Depends on the day. You know what I'm trying to get. And see, this is what girls do. She's a master of double talk. She knows I'm about to make a point. So as opposed to agreeing with me, she's going to say, uh, it depends on the day. Mm -hmm. I know what you're doing. I'm 10 steps ahead of you. But my point in saying that there are subconscious actions that you do every single day that you don't realize you're doing. And when a girl says stupid horse shit like you'll make a good husband one day, you're a nice guy. Those are subconscious actions. She's not aware that she's doing when there's an underlying text to what she's saying. Mm. Now. The truth. Where my bomb at, C. Marty? I think you shattered their illusion, bro. Yeah. I know, ladies. Uh, who has not taken this subject? She already went. No, nah, no, nah, nah went. Destiny. Destiny's and... been trying to say something before. Yeah, Destiny, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I think y'all read too much into it, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. She genuinely could have been saying that dude was husband material. I mean, it, 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 it's going too far. The but only I'm, reason why I feel like that's not the case in this situation is because she said something day. like the dates and stuff continued. But Did she not say multiple, Alex? Yeah, I said multiple. But, I mean, she could have She could have genuinely but felt like you were good husband said material. That to him. I mean, you're reading too much into it. Somebody might be genuinely trying to give you a compliment. <clears throat> you over here thinking, oh, she's just trying to no, use I me for other bodies. 
sweet Jesus. Yeah. Like, but like, did the dude. dates continue? That's the thing. No. Did After they? she said that, he, he, she stopped talking to him, right? They stopped talking. I, I, yeah, I, I stopped right, which is why it, I feel like it doesn't say that they stopped talking. He just asked for advice after. Like what? He just, he just wants like, to know what, like what does that mean? Oh, she says she yeah. doesn't want to skip any phases. Yeah. She might see potential in you, but I mean, so whatever. what she says, skip any phases. Mm. So what he, wait, just to make a So she just wants to go back to that. She wants. She wants. I guess when she's saying skip any phases, she wants to like date, then court, and then then kind of do the marriage thing. From what I got from it. Oh, I think he. So I think she really yes. meant that he probably will make a good She probably yeah. meant that, and y'all reading too much. So I'm I'm a nice guy, and that's I already knew. That's, that's oh that the, part the kiss, the kiss the kiss of death right there. That's what I'm saying. You know? And it says that. Go ahead, Simon. You good? That's easy. It says I'll make. She said I'll make a great husband one day, but if she doesn't really want to skip any phases, and she lives. What's he say? What's that say? I was saying that's why I was skipping. I don't so, know. Like Unless she lives to regret what is the, it. What is that, the time yeah. frame of how long they have been? It. Oh, yeah, you we don't. don't have okay, it. because it should seem like okay, because it seems as though all right, hey, they went on what? Um, so they, they went, went on two, two dates, dates, and then he, he asked her to be official. Her. He he went on two dates, said he liked the looks, liked the vibe, said we should be exclusive. She was like. And then he said, I'm nice, but she told me oh, I'll make a great husband one day. So he's like, what oh, is she's that not interested. She might be prospecting. She's not interested. No, well, yeah. But she's also really soon. After two days, you're saying you want to, let's be official after two days? That would push me away. I wouldn't want to date you after that. That's, like, like two, that's after a red two flag. Days, then we're official? Yeah, that's why she that's said you'll make a good husband one day because she didn't want to proceed. That I thought that was weird. Yeah, if you asked me to be with you oh, after yeah, two that, days, that, that, that is weird. Portion, now, is weird. that's one thing I do agree with you guys on, but it goes down to that subconscious thing that women do. Like when you're too pressed and too eager too soon, it signals to a woman that you're, you have a lack of options, a lack of self control, and you're not really a yeah, man. Yeah, like you're love bombing. Like, why the hell is we like, and actually, again, to your point, <laughs> which you've mentioned as well, because I have one of my other friends as well that was uh, dating a guy, and like after like the second date, he was like, Oh, yeah, you my girl. She was like, that's Your weird. girl, like I what? Mean, I, I yeah. agree, I agree, hundred percent. Yeah, we, yeah, we together, together. Like, <laughs> like when did when did I did I have a say in this? Like, when do we no. even discuss this? And I want to let I want I want to let uh, Aaliyah finish because she I want to finish here no horse shit. So go ahead, Aaliyah. You you didn't really give a correct response to this. Uh, what do you think is going on here? I didn't say anything earlier. I mean, I kind of interrupted you when you were speaking. That's why I wanted you to full to pretty much finish your thought. No, she she definitely just said like. She sees potential in him, but he's not for her. That's it. But again, this is just a snippet of what happened. There's context missing in this entire paragraph. Of course. So I'm just saying, she was like, you're a nice guy. You'd make a great husband someday. She's giving him, and this is a backhanded compliment, but she's not interested. Just not my husband. Right. Yeah. yeah. There's so, no, and Naja said it earlier, there's no chemistry there. I'm glad you said that to Alex because when a woman says things like, Oh, uh, I can't see myself dating right now, or you'll make a great husband, or whatever the case is, or I don't want to be in a relationship, the, the the with you is is always silent. <laughs> because if a better option comes along, she trusts me. She not waiting a nigga, making a nigga wait for two or three days that she really is attracted and hot and heavy for. I'm not it's disagreeing not with that happen. point. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying in this particular instance she just wasn't interested then why not say that she didn't she did she was just nice about it no. we so i i don't know if everybody was disagreeing but i feel like it was over analyzed but i think we're all we're all at a consensus that she wasn't interested but i think the explanation was like a little bit over analyzed it's not like, oh, she's reserving uh, herself for it. I'm just saying there are other factors. It doesn't mean that she's just reserving herself for another nigga or something. She's just not interested in this particular one. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the last thoughts on this. We're gonna go ahead and shut this down. Uh fellas, let me tell y'all something. As I've always said, when you hear the words uh nice, sweet, make a good husband one day, good guy, real man, real man. Those are vagina drying words, okay. But when you hear things like arrogant, yeah. selfish, yeah, jerk, yeah, self centered, yeah, that's yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, that's aka this nigga. I can't control this nigga, and he doing something to me. Pause. Yeah, Ew. you ain't had to pause that. Pause. So. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead and listen to these girls down here who says you're overanalyzing everything and it's that deep. It is Wait, that deep. We, we don't sound like that. 
Yeah, we don't. It's like, like a that. bunch of parrots, bro. Sounds just like <laughs> Naja to me. We could square up after this. <laughs> like, we have all liked you the whole night. Exactly. Yeah, we never said anything Why bad about you. That? So now it's like we left you alone the whole night. You yeah. actually the favorite right I now. I don't want y'all to think nice. I'm a, I don't want y'all thinking I'm a real man over here. <laughs> I thought you were a nice. Let's, sweet, that, that, we don't want that. You thought he was nice. Listen, I thought listen. he was nice. Let's go ahead and get ready. I'll turn to you. Look, what, do I, what do I feel? <laughs> they want to be dick in disappointment. Yeah. Ladies, ladies, they want to be dick in disappointment. Let's, let's go ahead and shut nope. this down, man. Because y'all, y'all done gave me a headache for the night. Like y'all was doing so good that first hour and thirty. He needs some milk. Then the last thirty, <laughs> it just went off rails. So Close. before. Before we shut down, this is down. going to be a shattered loser's consensus. Oh. Are we voting? Are we voting Aaliyah in or out? And she's yeah. definitely in. We need her. Y'all's votes don't count because we're women. Oh. No, actually, the half votes. But go ahead. Oh. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh. You'll make a great husband one day. Yeah, you're so nice <laughs> and sweet. <laughs> You are a real man. I, I want you're gonna to, be a husband. I, 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 want, I, want y'all, I want y'all to do this. Give last thoughts on the show. Uh plug your Instagram, your socials, and then tell me, uh, Aaliyah, yes or no. We're gonna start here with Shanita. All right. I think tonight went great. It was a great, uh, great per usual. Um, and against her, it was maybe uh she's not interested in you. Just just leave it at that. Just she's not interested. Don't overanalyze as this you know man did over here. Um, mm. y'all can follow me at uh Nita J dot underscore and I definitely feel as though you should continue to be on and every weekend. So yeah, that's my two points. Go ahead, Nana. I think that this was a great show. It was very hilarious. I had a good time. Um to any of the ladies watching, except for TK. Um you that he's a nice guy. He's a great guy. They'll make great husbands one day. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, y'all yeah, can follow me at M I S S N A N A 01 on Instagram. And oh, yeah, I vote Aaliyah can join if it matters because I'm a woman. It half matters. Yeah, no, half okay. matters. So that's one vote. Oh, between the two of us. Okay, yeah, one vote. point. Mm, okay. Um, Destiny, go ahead. Sure. Um, this was a. Pretty insightful and great show. Ladies were doomed. <laughs> These men are crazy. But uh, <laughs> but yes, Alicia definitely come in. I definitely it's a big yes for Destiny. So yeah, I had a great time though. This is fun. Um, we're gonna save Aaliyah for last. Um because you're a woman. <clears throat> yeah, and women don't count. Women come first. No, he's saving the best for last. It's okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now nah, she's about to go ahead and go now because like <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Continue, sir. All right, You're uh, a great guy. Thank I, you for being I, such a gentleman. I, yep. I, Alex, please save me. You're so nice. <laughs> um, great show. Uh, love the energy. And I vote yes. Um, see, Marty. You got to say something, ain't it? Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah I already know. You've been my favorite you all night. Please don't do this. No, no he's worried. not. He's a gentleman guy. Oh, he's a gentleman. He's going to be nice. Give me advice about the dude. Hold on, let let let's see my do his plug before we shut this down. Oh, go, okay. ahead, go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, hey, great job today, everybody. Okay, we I disagree with a lot of shit y'all was saying. There's a lot of bullshit, <laughs> but uh, I let TK do his thing. But you can follow me on social media: C Marty Fit, C M A R T Y Fit. All right, a lot of fitness content. Subscribe on YouTube, C Marty Fit. If you want to unbig your back, big back activity. If you try and get rid of your belly. Belly, belly. <laughs> Whatever your fitness goal is, tap into the content. You won't be disappointed, and don't come in with the with the uh, bullshit excuses. Hold on, I got one more. I can't find it. It's on there. I can't unbig my back. I can't unbig my back. <laughs> don't come in there with that bullshit. All right. So check your boy out. Best fitness content. Uh, content out. TK, do your thing, man. Oh, and Aaliyah. Oh, I don't know, man. She's good. I give her a thumbs up. Yay! <laughs> 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 okay, Lee, go ahead and give your last thoughts. And um, are you willing? Let me ask you this. Before we, everybody says yes so far, but I have to ask you this. Um, are you willing to get rid of all your other responsibilities oh, wow. and completely dedicate yourself to shattered illusions <laughs> and be at our beck and call? Ceremony. 
Is that thing Dr. Theremin? I guess yeah, and also remember this is um <clears throat> this includes verbal sparring, um building you down and break you up. Build you back up. Did I join the military? More breaking you down. Yeah. And, more, break- <laughs> and, and more breaking And listen, down. and the occasional free meal. Yeah. The occasional free meal. Gotta give you, free got, meal. Gotta give you a perk. Meals are always good, too. Where's the hoodie? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Hoodie, hoodie, too. hoodie, too. Um, So, do you pledge allegiance to Shadow Illusions? I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag. No. <laughs> also, hold up. I gotta give you. Will I take him to the that's crazy? the first one. That's the first one for the night. And that's that's the last one. This is this is the this is the last nice thing I'm gonna say about her. Prepare for hell. Because you now just signed your deal. But thank you for coming out. And so go ahead and chivalrous. give your other things and give last thoughts. About the show. Yeah. <clears throat> well, since it's my second time on here, this definitely was a good show. The first one was well, we all know how that went. <laughs> I was on the first one. I heard I was forgotten too. Oh, okay. I gotta play you that one back. Um, yeah, good show. It was great seeing my girls again, even though I work with half of them. <laughs> Don't see y'all at all. Um, and y'all can follow me at Amore underscore underscore Lee ninety four on Instagram. Can't camera on me. Uh, ladies, I appreciate y'all. I know I'll give y'all a hard time, but y'all are, y'all are halfway okay. Halfway okay. Uh, don't forget to submit your leave request um, in writing. And also, I'll be working on some things to get some more people to join the team. Don't want to say too much too soon, but you know, y'all have some competition now. Okay. Oh, wow. So, uh, great show. I love the energy. As always, y'all are full of shit. But you know what? We'll we will we will get better over time. <laughs> uh Alex, appreciate you. C Marty as always appreciate you, bro. Uh that's all our time to the next time. This is the Shadow Illusions Podcast. Kill the fantasy, build the dream. Love y'all boys. We are out of here. Shut this up. Yeah. Y'all are funny today. <laughs> <laughs>